Oh my gosh, danger! Thank you so much for the raid. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. Thank you, thank you. Oh no, where are we at? We're almost at 80%. Ray, I hope you're feeling better. I'm feeling much better today. I think I have like a couple of sniffles, but um, hopefully that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> me always reading at the stream starting screen it's 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 a vibe it's a vibe yeah i i'm i'm positive it's allergies i don't know if this happens with anybody else but like when my allergies are really bad my tongue gets itchy and i got that so it's like it's basically confirmed Honestly, the <laughs> the starting stream cookie is how happy I aspire to be. MC, thank you so much for the resub. And Kalja Mahainen. Kalja Mahainen, yes, that's what I'm going with. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Whoa, never heard of that. It might be a me thing. I'm not agreed. I hate allergies. I mean, I'm, I'm already talking to you guys, so I should just transition. <laughs> I'm gonna just show up. Yeah, I, I've been thinking about going to like, um, like a specialist and cause you know how they, they have these things, the technology that the kids have these days there's all sorts of tests they can do and really get down to like a very fine level what exactly you're allergic to. And then you can either do like specialized shots or I think there might be like a drink that you can do. Oh my God, cute stuffies. Thank you so much. I won't tell you I have a fave, but maybe I do over there. Dig down. Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Kalja. And T Max, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's like a little, it's like a little drink. Oh my gosh, what's going on here? <laughs> now you can never leave. You guys, thank you so much for the resub. Right, keep on keeping on. It's been a, a fun nine months. I agree. I agree. We're um. It's so crazy thinking about all of the games. It feels like a lot longer. We're we're not quite at the year mark of when I like came back. So I was like, oh, I can't travel for work. So I'm just gonna be stuck. Hey, I should pick up streaming again. Ooh, ooh. Wait, that's weird. The hype train just like, went up 25% and literally nothing happened. Jiro, thank you so much for the Risa. Which means Witcher 3 was nine months ago. Yes, Witcher. Um, and then before that was, was Fallout New Vegas the first game I played when I came back? Uh, oh my gosh, coming up on um, almost a year since The Witcher. And I, I want to go back. Zanta, thank you so much for the resub. Ray, yep, four months, Ray love. Kalja, thank you so much for the bits. Also, am I pronouncing that right? Is the L, are you supposed to say the L? Kalja? But... Cause maybe it's silent. I don't know. Uh, I'm not very, I'm not very cultured. So, <laughs> Far Faria, thank you so much for the bits. Another resub message. Abel, thank you so much for the follow. I don't know. I didn't want you play follow, but I started watching while you were in White Orchard. So you caught it at the very beginning. 
To be fair, she wants to torture us with Gwent. Okay, when I was picking, I almost picked Gwent the card game um, as an in-between game. And then I was like, you know, what if I play Detroit instead? It is pronounced Kalya. It is Finnish, so no worries. Kalya. Right, because the J... I feel like the J is the the thing that you're not supposed to. Like in a lot of places, you're not supposed to go ja. So yeah, I got it. No joke, Ray is the reason I started playing Gwent. Yes! Oh my gosh. When um the that was like the first video that I put on YouTube that I was like some people saying, oh, I didn't play Gwent in my first playthrough, but like watching you go through and getting so excited, I decided to go back and play it. I was like, yes. The J is softer in Finnish, just like an Icelandic. So it's a ya. Yeah. Kevin, hey, uh, what game are you playing today? I am going to be playing Detroit Become Human. I didn't bother learning it, but she played it so much that I caught on. I was a little bit obsessed. <laughs> it was, it's just like, you just start to get so invested and you're like, okay, well, in order to beat people at Gwent, I need better cards. In order to get better cards, you got to start from the bottom and keep working your way up. And then it was just, it was game over for everybody. It's like Faria. Can't say Faria without the Faria. Faria, are you Faria? Yeah, definitely. If you're not Italian, something odd is going on here. <laughs> and she yelled at children after beating him in Gwent. It was only the one, and honestly, she deserved it. Have you managed to get your heart rate down from The Last of Us? I don't think so, because before I posted the video on YouTube this morning, I watched through it and still got jump scared. <laughs> still got jump scared. Sam, how's it going? See? And then the, the sneaky, no E-E, -E, you know? Faria, it's like... Wait, Maria? Oh, Maria, Maria. Okay, sorry, wait a minute. I just, <laughs> I, I got it. No, that's how you would spell Maria, right? No? <laughs> okay, wait, okay. Maria. How, like, how would you spell, how is, wait a minute. No, hold on, there's something there's something confusing going on here. Maria. Yeah, it's like Maria. Maria. Yes, right. Oh my gosh. Have I been saying it wrong this whole time? Faria. 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 Oh my gosh. Thank you for gifting us up to Sam. And you've never, you've never been like, Faria, Faria. <laughs> the thing about this is that Faria isn't even Italian. That's actually a mind blown moment. Literally is a mod in my channel and I've just been going around like, Faria, let me just Americanize your name to a pulp. Faria. Faria. Can I still say it with an Italian accent? Are you Italian at all? Or what's been going, what's going on? <laughs> so misunderstood. I'm sorry. <laughs> Things are very confusing. Listen, it's, it's difficult when you've just never left the US. You just say everything as like, the very aggressive American way that we we say things. Yes, you must use an Italian accent and do the Faria. Ah, 
Faria Maria. Look at that. I'm Italian now. <laughs> Could be worse. Could have upped up my name and said, like, Yef. Mm? Jeff, is there something you're not telling me? Mm? Is, it a is your name actually pronounced Yef? But I think you're Canadian. I feel like can Canada still has J's. Yeah. <laughs> Kalia's now got me on this, like, now every time I see a J, I'm going to be like, hold on. Becker, thank you so much for the resub. Ro rookie is actually Rokey. Rookie. Rookie? Mm, I feel like I have seen double O's be pronounced a little differently in places that are not here. <laughs> it's closer to you've offended millions of Italians now. Okay, I think we need... In order to properly uh, diversify the community, I think I'm just gonna have to do a little bit of traveling. Maybe start in Italy, eat some spaghetti, drink some wine. We'll go up, uh, hit, hit Finland, see what's going on in Finland. I don't know a lot about Finland, so I don't know what the uh, what you would do there. I got a check from a client that spelled my name with a G. No, but I I have seen yeah people their name is Jeff, but they spell it like G O E F F or something. Travel via the internet. I'm just gonna yeah I'm gonna get food flown in. Finland has a lot of lakes and trees. I like I like those things. I like those things. Although it was the whole going outside thing which caused my body to attack itself yesterday. So may, maybe maybe internet travel's the way to go. We can do we can have like travel the world streams and we can just post like videos of you know, like travel advisors in these areas, and then we can eat local food and drink. That could be fun. Finland has a negligible number of mosquitoes in the summer. Finland also has buildings. Okay, buildings are fun. Hey, great work, everybody. We very randomly got a level two hype train. So that's pretty cool. Wait, what are these? What are these little puppies? Speaking of food and drink, I'm hungry and thirsty. Go get yourself a couple snacks. Get some snacks. We're gonna start Detroit. And um, yeah, that's the game plan. Get snacks. I'm gonna try to not be a sniffly mess. My tongue doesn't itch today, so I'm definitely getting better. But yeah, I think there's like... I gotta do my research, because normally I just don't go outside. But then I'm like, hey, I should go outside. And then my allergies, regardless of like how much allergy medicine I take, it's still just like, I don't think you're cut out for this. Sorry. Oof. I don't know. I think, can you just stay inside? <laughs> I'm literally allergic to the real world. Yeah, I went for, uh, I wouldn't even call it like a hike because I was walking, but um, there was some incline. Yeah, there was some incline and trees. And I think it just like... <clears throat> Wasn't used to it. I think I need to start introducing local honey into the diet. I think that's a thing you can do too to help, uh, you know, the thing.
So the pollen tree junk is so bad here. They shovel it. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. It has nearly killed me. Um, yeah, that, that that is too much pollen. That's too much. Trees, find something else to do, okay? Detroit, I love that city. Chicken shawarma at Bucharest Grill. I'd risk jail time for one right now. I've never been to Detroit, so hopefully I get a little tour in the game today. If you had north enough in Finland, you get <laughs> less nature per nature. Is part, I thought Finland was like snowy. Maybe that's very, very northern Finland. I'm not sure. <laughs> New horror game pollen attack. New horror game, real life, like, period. Hi, uh, Splenda. Today I am starting Detroit Become Human. Loving some cicadas right now. Millions in the trees. Bet they won't thrive in Finland. I I have not seen any, but... Should we tell Ray how seasons work? I How I would like to live my life is to hibernate from like... Yeah, April until August. And then wake up just in time for fall and winter. Fall and winter, fall is my favorite season. Winter, second favorite season. And honestly, I could do without spring and summer. Um, so I think I just need to live in a place that's like cold all year round. Oh, that's a good one, Splenda. I've heard really good things, so. <laughs> go away warm I just don't like the warm I sweat really easily and like my face gets all like red and flush and it's just like I sweat through my clothes and people are like okay like that's kind of weird tiny house ranch in Serbia done I'm one of those people that is always warm same I I'm always sweaty always uh, like I've been ever since I was like really little I've been like that that kid in gym class or whatever that people are like oh my gosh like what a try hard she's all sweaty but it's it's just from living I get sweaty and I've seen people are like people swear by getting like Botox injected in their armpits but it's sort of like an all over sweat so that probably won't help have you been to florida i've been to florida once on spring break and i thought i was gonna die the whole entire time florida at the end of april was brutal <laughs> it's just botox everywhere like slathered on Full body Botox, exactly. <laughs> warm warm is bad. Write that down. Apply for a job with Santa at the North Pole. I think that's where I would thrive. Um, like, work-life balance of Santa is... I mean, that's good stuff. Eats cookies. Like, one day a year sort of, like, gorges himself on cookies. Like, I would maybe want to spread it out. Maybe take some with me and like freeze them and like have them during the year. But I think Alaska would be would be good for me or the North Pole at literally anything like that. <clears throat> but yeah, Florida, Flor and another thing about Florida too, the humidity, like being near the water and then it's like you feel sticky and it's suffocating you and it's in your lungs and it's hot and it's like hot water in your lungs. Ooh, he could use some analytics on presence. Uh, I could, I could do something. I could really like, I, I probably look okay in red. Could get a beard, I guess. I wouldn't mind like little Santa hat. Could divvy up duties. Ever been diagnosed with asthma? No, 
I have not actually, but mm, I don't know. I have seen some people that have really bad asthma and like what an asthma attack looks like. And I've never had anything like that. It's just sort of hot. <laughs> Ray beard emote soon. Just like a big, like, just a big white fluffy beard. Humidity is the worst thing of all time. Yeah, totally agree. <laughs> but I think if I went somewhere up in in Canada, that would be... I've never been to Vancouver, but I've heard really awesome things about Vancouver. And, um... What's, what's the one that's on, like, the far east coast of Canada? It's not British Columbia, right? Do you think you could manage Arizona since it's dry heat? I don't know. Because can't Arizona get to like one? Nova Scotia. Yes, thank you. Nova Scotia. What? Where's British Columbia? Just, did I just make that up? Oh, I'm in Canada. <laughs> this is hot. I, I've been to both Toronto and Montreal. And I, I loved Montreal. I thought it was so, like, I've been there multiple times. It's just, like, an awesome city. Um, I would totally, I would go there. Is Vancouver hot? I, like, can't even picture Vancouver. Oh, it's in British Columbia. Okay, so other side. What's your normal body temp? Over 98.6. Yeah, I do tend to run, like, a little hot in general. Um... Arizona, it's dry heat. Yep, no, no, no. Um, yeah, I, I feel like Vancouver doesn't get hot nor cold. It sounds per like the perfect place. It's beautiful from what I've heard. Um, I think it's very, very expensive, which would not be great, but maybe if I lived like outside the city in like a tiny house, that could work. <laughs> Breaking British Columbia's made up. Ray literally just made that up because she doesn't understand geography. Carl the Rave. Thank you so much for the follow. If you want a moderate climate, you got to go to Southern California. I've been to San Diego. Um... In, I think in like August though, and it was okay. It was a teensy bit still too warm, but that could have been because I was just constantly full of tacos. Like I just gorged myself on like Californian, Mexican, like Mexicali, right? I think is what it's called, food. Yeah, just like too much. <laughs> Too many tacos and like maybe didn't drink enough water because I was drinking a little too many margaritas. The, ta <laughs> the taco, the taco sweats, they're real, they're real. <laughs> they have amazing fish tacos. It's very expensive, I could never live there. Tiny house is still over 700K. What? <laughs> and inventing British Columbia reinvented Nana Imo bar, technically a cookie. I don't know what those are, but yeah, I, I don't know how much like further south, you know, you'd have to go in California before you like hit the hit the jackpot weather-wise, but I would just I would just go north and I would be so happy. I think Vancouver, Vancouver. If I can just find, if I can find something to do in Vancouver that pays enough that I can live in Vancouver, that could be awesome. Oh my God. Nanaimo, Nanaino, Nanaimo bar. Is it a bar or is it like, what type of bar? 
So I'm building a 250k tiny house. They paid 1.1 million. Oh, <laughs> her pronunciation of Nanaimo. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ray built a tiny house. Oh, Jeff. Okay. Would it be more cost effective to live on a houseboat in Vancouver? Nanaimo, three layer, no cook bar with crumb base, nut and filling. That sounds amazing. Yeah, plus Canada has free healthcare. Yes, a tiny houseboat, exactly. I live in Portland and the climate is all right here. There's usually a couple of weeks in August where it gets uh, too hot, but otherwise it's all right. Yeah, like Portland and um, Seattle. Pretty much anywhere on like the west, like northern west coast up there, I feel like would be perfect. Jack, thank you so much for the resub. Hi, Kate Brian. Do you like clouds? I love clouds. I'm a huge clouds fan. Sure, but good luck finding mooring in Vancouver. Is mooring like a place to park your boat? 16 grand a year to park my boat. Yeah, but what you would pay 16 grand instead of like a lot, a plot of land, which I think makes it more cost effective. Nanaimo bar consists of three layers, a wafer knot and coconut crumb base. Custard icing in the middle and a layer of chocolate ganache on top. Oh, I love chocolate ganache. Mm. Yeah, what what's 16k Canadian? Plus bone maintenance gets expensive fast. Yeah, I, I have absolutely I have no sense of like how to take care of a boat, which makes me feel like a tiny house is where it's at, but if the land is going to be like four times as expensive as the house on it, that's a little. I like your teddies on the couch. Thank you, Caprian. I'm going to say Caprian, but I think it could also be Caprian. I have this internal discussion with myself every time you're here. Little cuties. Okay. Um... Let's not play. Let's play a game. Let's play a game. And then we can talk about uh, why is everything so expensive? Why did they make it so expensive to live? Like, I'm just trying to live. That's it. Like, I'm not I'm not asking for a lot. I just want to I want to contribute to society and be cool all the time. Like, not me personally be cool, but like temperature wise be cool. DZ. There's no steam news. I don't know what happened, but there is no steam news. Um, <clears throat> I'll, I'll find something. I'll find something. <clears throat> do, do, do. Da, da, da. Okay, actually, there's really not a lot here. <clears throat> Except Mass Effect Legendary Edition. It's getting all sorts of amazing reviews. It's getting 4.5s and 5s out of 5s. 9 out of 10s. 95 out of 100s. People are loving it. I think Ray accidentally turned off the Steam News pop-up. I think what may have happened is... Yesterday, in my, like, Benadryl state, I went to go download Detroit, and I probably didn't realize that it popped up, so. <laughs> Be both types of cool. All right, I'll try. Are you going to play on PC or PS4? I did not realize it was on PS4, so I'll be playing it on PC. Yeah, 
let's okay music off and then we're gonna go here and then we're gonna do this and this that's because mass effect is amazing i i definitely want to play uh mass effect at some point i'm thinking i might play it after the last of us part two um but we'll see <laughs> hello hello just rediscovered my uh 3ds so i'm just gonna lurk in the stream and inject some pokemon into my veins i support this i support this decision okay yeah can can we just have a real talk moment is this game gonna be scary should i like uh do i need to be nervous there's Every game is scary to you, so yes. And then literally, as I say, is this game scary? I like drop frames. Not scary, but suspenseful. Okay, is that, that supposed to be better? Or... <laughs> Speaking of scary, can you play Resident Evil Village for Halloween? We, we can discuss Resident Evil because... Um, I'm trying to come up with for the charity stream on this upcoming Saturday. I was almost thinking of having like an hour of Resident Evil Village as like a sub goal, but or not a sub goal, a donation goal. Um, but we'll see. So I've got something else. I'm kind of. Yeah, you're, you're going to want to stick around. <laughs> Resident Evil with a heart rate monitor. That's the only way I'll play it because I need you guys to see the bodily harm that you're doing to, to me by making me play scary games. I need you to just be aware. Okay, and then I'm going to remove this and this. Uh-huh. Okay. You're probably not going to see it for a minute. Huh? Oh. Okay, hold on. I have a message. It says, launching Detroit Become Human, shader pipelines cache creation. This process can be quite long depending on your CPU speed and your GPU model. Please don't quit until it's done. Okay. <laughs> you may need to get a mop in here to contain chat's thirst for certain characters. Wait, in Detroit? <clears throat> Can we also implement a high score? <laughs> like, on what streams my heart rate was... Okay, it's, it's going, it's going. Ooh. Okay, I think that's fine. I just alt-tabbed out. Okay, we're just going to wait for that to finish. Um, yeah. Okay, hold on. If I do this, and then properties. Oh no, this is not what I want. Discard. I just deleted the wrong thing. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I've got this very under control. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> all units, all units get into position. They're, they actually, at the precinct, they just have my stream open and they're like, all right, she is, she's getting online. She's getting online. Okay, hold on, this thing is flying. It was at 10K and now we're down to 1500. <laughs> All units, we have, an, we have an active gamer, uh, screamer level five. We've, we've got numerous noise complaints coming from Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> the cops have called that Operation Cookie Snatcher. <laughs> They're, I mean, I, I don't know what they, what am I supposed to do? Let the, let the people down? I'm gonna let these people down. No. Officers, I'm sorry, but this is for the children. Okay? Do you, do you care about children? Hmm? Yeah. Didn't even think that, did you? You're just coming in here like, oh, you can't be an adult and screaming in an apartment complex? Oh yeah, it's for, it's for the children. Hmm. <laughs> it's for the children. <laughs> Hi, neighbors. I felt, okay, I did confirm that even though the game was coming out of my monitor for I don't know how long, uh, nobody could hear it, so that was good. Bring the juvenile detention van as well. They have like a, a tranquilizer gun. They're like, we have no idea uh, if she's aggressive. They, I'm sure they actually have a, like a code for. Oh man, hold on. We're almost there, we're almost there. Contribute to the baking stream. How close are we? <laughs> all units, all units, bring snacks, bring snacks for the children. Thank you. Okay, hold on. I think it's gonna be done in three, two, one. Show me the game. Whoa. Okay, hold on. Hold everything. Okay, you guys see this? By playing this game, you accept our privacy policy. Wait, okay, hold on, time out. Let me just, let me see what this privacy policy is all about. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. They're gonna collect personal data. Mm-hmm. Uh, Quantic Dream collects and processes your personal information when you use its services or when you interact with Quant Quantic Dream. I see. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is quite long. Cookies! Wait, wait, wait. Identification of cookies. Hold. Generally speaking, there are different types of cookies. Okay, I'm very well aware, but I'll, I'll read your section anyways. There are third-party cookies and proprietary cookies. That's, I tend to get my cookies from third parties and probably proprietary, I suppose. Session cookies, persistent cookies, <laughs> technical cookies, that's me. Functional personalization cookies. Audience membership and statistics cookies. Marketing cookies. Management by the user of the deposit of cookies. And, and then we're done with the cookie section. Okay, I think we're good to go. Yeah, I agree. Let's do it. <laughs> Chaotic cookies. <laughs> Quantic games. Um, I did not read any type of cookie. Um, I did not see chocolate chip in there, but I did scroll pretty fast, so very possible I missed it. Fail. Care. Kyrie. Yeah, Vale Kyrie, thank you so much for the follow. 
<laughs> persistent cookie, eat one, it stays with you forever. Or you think that you're eating the cookie and you're like, wow, it's a really good cookie. And you leave the room and you come back and the cookie is there again. That's a persistent cookie. <laughs> no chocolate chip. I'm I'm going to write a review and be like, listen, I, I read every single word of specifically the cookie section of the privacy policy and not once. Not once was there mention of chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Innocent cookies. So which of those do you eat? Uh, I think from the options available to me, I, I tend to go with third party cookies. Yeah. <laughs> what counts as a tough cookie? Whoa. Hold on, there's a shader process. Yeah, so speaking of third-party cookies, uh, Baking Stream is well on its way, and you guys will see why I always buy my cookies. <laughs> Off topic, buying jeans is very hard. I left the house at 11 and didn't get back until 2.30. I'm absolutely, I'm with you, Ronald. I'm with you. <laughs> faceless um i know my i don't know about your jeans buying process but mine being taller and as much as you like you go to these places and they're like oh they have whatever size and then long still not ever ever long enough so then it's like I, it looks like i'm wearing capri pants all the time or uh uh, what are they called? Floods? Yeah, exactly. They literally are all capris, and people just think, like, oh, that's sort of Ray's look. No, it's because Ray cannot find pants. Like, I'm, I'm mostly legs. <laughs> Where's the flood? I've heard that my, my whole entire existence. Yeah, some good old high waters. Sakaida, how's it going? Wait, I can't remember if I landed on Cicada or Cicada. Yeah, I'm, like, the majority of my body is legs. What happened to bell bottoms? They're making a comeback, apparently. I was not made aware of this, but the younger generation apparently have said no more skinny jeans and no more side parts. They're, they're canceled. So I think bell bottoms are making a comeback. So when will there be a jean sewing stream? Yes, I now make my own pants. <laughs> Skinny jeans still rule. I agree, Paradox. 70% legs, 30% cookies. Honestly, it's spot on. <laughs> it's spot on. I guess I have, and maybe a little hair. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, sorry. I can show you guys. It's going through a shader process, but if you guys are interested in that, I can show you. <clears throat> oh, just kidding, because you can't see that for some reason. Wait, why can't you see this? They're very proud of their game engine. <clears throat> well, we got a slight issue because... I mean, I see the game, but you guys do not see the game. I have the same issue. I'm 5'10 and my legs are longer <laughs> than my 6'4 co-workers. Hey, there we go. And I'm super skinning, so finding pants is heck. Uh, exact. There, when it's When you're like... Not proportionate, yeah. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. I was not made aware of this no more skinny jean rule. 
<laughs> which is what I'll tell the judge in court. Yeah, I think I can't remember because I'm I'm old and I have bad memory, but it's either Gen Z or Gen X or Gen I think it's Gen Z. Yeah, Gen Zers have called for the cancellation of skinny jeans and side parts. So I don't know. Do 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 what you wish with that information, but I just want you guys, like, I want to keep you guys on the cutting, the bleeding edge. <laughs> These people don't exist. So will you be continuing to The Last of Us 2? It is too much or, no, I'm, I thought that uh, Detroit would be a good in between game, but I will go back to play through Last of Us 2, I promise. Uh, probably after this. So, however, if you guys know how long this game is, I'll however many streams, but yeah. I don't really know what skinny jeans are, just wear Wrangler boot cut. Yeah, I think skinny jeans are when they like come like they're very super tight and they're like tight on the ankle. I I think that's it specifically, but um yeah, I think like straight leg or boot cut, I think those are fine. <laughs> what if I don't live long enough to see your Last of Us 2 playthrough? You you'll live, I promise, you will. Okay, I think I've made a terrible, terrible mistake. We've been stuck on 98% for a while. This guess approve of your game choice. Well done. Hello, welcome to the Detroit Experience. I'm an android and I'll be your hostess. Before we begin, let's make some adjustments to optimize your experience. Okay. Whoa, all right. Wait, she looks real. <laughs> this is boring. All right, I, I feel you, Shu. She looks amazing. Good memories. Thank you so much for the follow. All right. English. English. Subtitles on. Subtitles. <laughs> it's happening. Screams internally due to sleeping pupper in my lap. Do not wake the pupper. Terrible. I'm not sure I can handle this after finishing season one of Westworld. Oh no. Okay. Uh, what what's a good subtitle size? I'm kind of old, so is is large all right? Medium's good. I think I should go with medium because my cam. <laughs> Cookies in a hot tub might be problematic unless the hot tub is made of milk. All right, we're gonna go large. Continue. 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 Please adjust your screen settings. Uh-huh. <laughs> Jack's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, hold on. <laughs> That's too much, too much, man. Uh, that avatar greets you on your birthday or date of birth you entered. What? Okay. Um, how does this look? How's the 
brightness for you guys. Science has gone too far. Oh, cool. So this game's on PlayStation's 25% off for a year. Right now, I was wondering if I'd end up playing it or not. Well, you might not want to be here because I'm playing it. When, if you see spoilers, Frost, thank you so much for the resub. Not visible is very visible. Okay, so. I broke it. Oh, no. Wait to respond. Okay, time out. I think I broke it. Uh-oh. All right, let's try it again. It's, hold on, hold, hold. We're just gonna boot it back up. And away we go. Yep. Let's just. Okay. Loading. Uh, I I think second second times the charm. I think. I'm also wondering if instead of game capture, if I should Hello. do Welcome like to display the Detroit capture. Experience. I'm an android, and I'll be your hostess. Before we begin, let's make some adjustments to optimize your experience. Deal. And then we go large, continue. Please adjust your screen settings. Okay, we're gonna... I, I think I'm gonna leave it. I think I'm just gonna leave it and... The lip sync is not... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know if that means it's going to break again. We're, we're just going to roll with Thank it. Thank you. Now select your profile. Okay. I want immersive gameplay with advanced controls. A fair challenge where mistakes can mean losing a character. Okay. What's it mean? Experienced? What's it mean losing a character? Where mistakes can mean losing a character. Do it? Oh no! Why is there no medium? I just like a medium? Permadeath for characters? She looks so nice, and then she's saying death is forever. Just, <laughs> just don't make mistakes. All right, yeah, I, I will just not make mistakes. I think that's easy enough. You are now ready to begin Detroit. Remember, this is not just a story. This is our future. Something's gonna happen. Negotiator on site. You can't do that! You... Why aren't you sending a real person? Jolene, that's staying near her! Keep that thing away from my daughter! Keep it away from me! Oh, keep... 
Doki. Okay. One, one quick second. I think I'm gonna make a slight little change because the audio looks okay to me, but not to you. So I think I'm gonna swap over to Remember the dude from Deckard Games who raided you a while back? He's the actor for the character. Wait, he's like the main character? What? Chronic Burnout, thank you so much for the follow. Okay, well, forevermore we are now a thing, so that's just fine and dandy. Okay, so. Voice and face? How how did they do the face? That's crazy. Okay. Close this. <laughs> Ray's so big she doesn't even recognize. I had no idea. I thought he was like... I thought he was like, you know, in the game somewhere. Not that he's the main character. That's insane. Okay, what was I gonna do instead? I'm gonna do display capture. Window capture. No, I think I'm gonna do display capture. One second, I promise this is gonna make it all better. When did this person raid Ray? Uh, they raided me when I was playing Horizon Zero Dawn. It was Brian and Amelia, I believe are their names. But yeah. Okay. Um. When I go back into game, just let me know if it looks like the sound is still off. I wonder. Should I what should I turn some of the video settings down? I'm wondering if 1080 resolution. Like, maybe I should turn some of these down. Okay. Is there anything here that I don't need? Do I need ambient occlusion, bloom? Should I turn V-Sync off? What what else do I need here? If you turn the stream off, you'll get a higher frame rate. I'm trying to keep the stream on. What is wrong with audio detec? It's like I I was seeing the voices and the lips moving in sync, but other people were seeing your PC can't take it. I think it can, but I I want to make sure that I fix the audio thing for you guys. I can try it with this auto detect. Okay, uh, we'll just apply. Okay, back. Find Captain Allen. Okay. I don't give a shit. My men are ready to step in. Just give the order. Fuck. Talk. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. 
I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's really him! It's firing at everything that moves. <laughs> You're messing with the video to, to fix audio. Okay, we is it better now? It, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Uh, name. Do you know its name? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Behavior. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? Listen. Saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Oh my god. Understand what happens. Save hostage at all costs. God, they're dead. Interact using analyze. Ah. Uh. It's like there. It's still out of sync. Fresh blue blood, model PL six hundred serial. Okay. DPD officer was first responder. That's the same clue. I'm missing one more clue. Reconstruct. Use the following keys to review the reconstruction. Oh my gosh, okay. Maybe I go back a little bit. Okay, let's see. This is as far back as I can go. So, runs up on this guy. Rewind to search for a new clue. Hostage witnessed the shooting. Oh my gosh. That's not good. Oh, the gun is under the table. Okay. Let's get the gun. Oh, move the mouse. Okay. Whew. Androids are strictly forbidden to carry or use any type of weapon. I'm an android. I need to put it down. Put it back. Oh! Maybe this is part of the any cost type thing though, you know? At any cost, I can't pick it back up. Oh my god. Uh, 
Uh, I need more information, please. Oh, what about this guy? Okay, clues to analyze. Deceased, John Phillips. Three five five bullet wound. Right, he was shot multiple times. I'm missing a clue. This okay. Reconstruct. Father was holding something. It's like a tablet, maybe? He throws it on the other side of the room. Tab. Take. Unlock. Order for an AP seven hundred Android has been registered. Cyberlife thanks. Deviant was gonna be replaced. You've unlocked a dialogue or action often beneficial. Maybe we'll talk to this guy. Non-lethal wound. I can't talk to him about it though. Is 60% good enough or look at? Deviant's name, Daniel. Okay. Child did not hear gunshots. I'm at 68%. Understand what happened. I have some understanding. Okay. It's the ammo. Took the father's gun. Time is really important, but Look at these. There's a couple gunshots through here, a couple over here. Seventy percent is pretty good. Look 
look at how cyber life androids changed the world forever. Please stop shooting! What the fuck are you doing? You gotta talk to him or what? Go outside. Any closer or I'll jump! No, no, please, I'm begging you! Go, go, go! Daniel. Hi, Daniel! Now, my name is Connor. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out of this. Oh! Gain trust. Uh, reassure. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to talk and find a solution. Talk! I don't want to talk. It's too late for that now. It's too late. Possible cause. They were going to replace you and you became upset. Yes. That's what happened, right? Right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with it. Uh, I'm on you. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no! Sympathetic! Listen. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No. It's not my fault. Right. I never wanted this. Exactly. I love them. You know? I know. But I was nothing to them. <laughs> okay. Just a slave to be ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore. I tell that helicopter to get out of here. Okay. Trust me. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go and I promise you, everything will be fine. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Look, let's compromise here. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go and I promise you won't be hurt. Good compromise, good compromise. I don't want to die. Reassure. You're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. Okay. I trust you. Okay. This is good. I mean, he still has a gun, like... You lied to me, Connor. You lied to me. Okay. I, uh... I saved the hostage at all costs, but 
I should have told him the truth there. Because now I feel awful. Yeah, well, that was... That software instability thing was scary. Agreed. And now I'm like... Sort of... I feel icky. Like, we did the thing, but it, we, we should have... We put a lot into trust, which I think was good in the upfront because um, we needed to stabilize, get him to calm down. But then at some point we should have been like, listen, uh, you've killed a lot of people here today. We just got to make sure the girl is safe and... Yeah, okay. This is the scene's flow chart. Here you can review the paths you've taken, the paths yet to be explored, and what possibilities you've unlocked. Each node earns you points that can be spent in extras. Due to the nature of the game, some nodes and endings will not be counted toward the completion of the flowchart. Okay, so in here, the, this is where I lie, and oh, I missed something here. I wasted too much time? Oh. Leave the cop's gun. Okay, leaving the cop's gun doesn't look like it helps me at all because there's nothing that comes off this node. Public opinion, skeptical, software instability. Okay. Wait, world stats? Oh. So 53% of people end up with this ending. Does the UI flicker or is it just me? Uh, I think, I mean, it does flicker occasionally for me too, but for people that have played before, Fairly good ending. Lying is the price for a good ending here. Oh, it's my scroll. Oh, well, wait. We we should turn we should turn it up to sixty, probably, right? Okay. Wasting too much time. <laughs> this is a ray game that it was fast because I started like to panic a little bit. Okay. Dismiss helicopter. Ooh, so I start to. I deviate from people starting here, it looks like. Swat injured, wasted. <laughs> Wait, I'm in the 20% of people that waste too much time. This is awesome. This is really, really cool. Okay, I would like to continue now. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 languages and dialects. And handles the kids' home care. Elementary school. Uh, good afternoon. Can I help? Wow. Please. Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range. I can show you that. $9,999 over the 48 months interest free credit. It does absolutely all the work around the house. Painting, plumbing, gardening, repairs. At night, it switches to the surveillance. Can I move? If you'll just follow me, we'll process the order. How much is that? Android zone. Slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. Come along. I don't like this guy. Yeah, there's something up with this guy right here. There it is. It's a bit difficult getting it back in working order. 
okay? It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, uh, see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it. Meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. That'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. Hopefully there's no, you know, quick split second decision making in the future. Very cool concept. Sorry that I was missing your guys' messages before. I was I was internally panicked at what was being asked of me. Chronic burnout, thank you so much for the follow. my job because of androids help me So that guy's oh, <laughs> too fast. No, go to Bellini paint shop. Okay, hold on. One more thing before we go options, video 60, apply. Um, all right, any thoughts on what I should do to help the, the audio disconnect? Turn that thing up and then, oh, audio. Relaunch, I can do that. I really enjoy this game, looking forward to your choices. Now I'm getting nervous because I, I knew that it was a game where uh, there was like decisions and multiple endings and stuff like that. But if you're in high pressure situations all the time, like I may pick things and then be like, I didn't have enough time to think through what it would do. It's an OBS issue. Okay, uh, I can relaunch it. Um, in terms of the, the volume, um, is the volume okay for you guys? Also, how do I know if it's going to save? How do I save? That's the point of high pressure situations in games. Okay. Yeah, I can uh okay, confirm. Return to desktop. Yes. Okay. And boom, we'll give it a second, relaunch.
fingers crossed. I haven't seen you for a while. It's good to have you back. Oh, no, 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 no. Shoot. I wanted to see your talk. Oopsies. Is there any way I can make her talk again? Ooh, ooh. Goku Ron, thank you so much for the follow. I'm just continuing to see. Okay, well, the good news is that the game crashed, so now I'll be able to relaunch it. What what would be doing that? Okay, I'm not gonna touch anything. We're just gonna... We're gonna let her talk. You guys can confirm that, like... I haven't seen you for a while. It's good to have you back. What do we think? It's even worse. Okay. Uh, I wonder. This is the options section. You can customize your experience here. Do you think, uh, okay, I know this doesn't make sense, but do you think I should do something with like display, like rather than full screen, do like, <laughs> I saw your YouTube upload today of Last of Us, hilarious. Thank you, Killian. <laughs> uh, I thought it was, yeah, so it looks in sync for me, but not for you. Okay, I'm gonna try something a teensy bit different. Yeah, let's try borderless windowed. And then... Back. Your parameters have been saved. Right, clap for us. No, it's not going through a capture card. So I'm in sync, but the game isn't. But the game is in sync for me. It's better. Do you think I should close out one more time? Or maybe instead of display? I hope you're okay today. I should do... I sometimes things can be difficult, but I'm here for you. Okay. Hold on. I've got an idea. <laughs> Chloe's so wholesome. I'm here being like, I'm trying... Go to game mode settings. Might be okay. <laughs> Tiny offset, totally watchable. All right, let's see if she goes one more time. Go to game mode settings and turn it off. Wait, turn what off, Nash? Accessing the options section. Okay, we're... Okay, she should talk here, maybe? As long as subtitles are on? That's true. In Windows? Search? 
In Windows search. Okay. We're we're just gonna pretend. Uh, outside of Chloe, very lovely. She's been great, very helpful. Um, outside of her, maybe in game, it's gonna be okay. Yes, I can do. An audio delay in OBS. Would you like to go home now? Yes, Rose. Yes, I think that's Are you using OBS? I am using OBS, so I can do a Oh, thank you. I can do a delay for sure. Oh, <laughs> you're most definitely going to cry during this game. Well, if it's making me... Hello? I feel like I need to keep... Bellini Paints is not this way. Oh, okay, sorry. Hello. Wait for the, no, wait for the green light. Stop, 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 okay. Okay, it's green light, we can go. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hold right click to use GPS. Retrieve order 847 at Bellini Paints. Oop, sorry ma'am, sorry. One dollar to hear. Alone in my bed. Six AM is screaming. Back to this again. <laughs> Play one Do more. It with my eyes Music with soul. by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. We can no longer live without these slaves obeying our every selfish desire. 
Okay, I'm suddenly feeling a lot less warm and fuzzy about this game. to Bellini Paints. Hey, listen, can you spread some cash? Uh, I don't know if I have money. Space occupied. Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be 63.99. Please confirm payment. Hey. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. Okay, guess I'll just take this now. <laughs> Have to pay. Take the bus home. Use the following key to switch the camera angle. Control. Buses. Oh, wait, wait. Is it just when you get close enough to something you see the little yellow like interaction thing? What, did we pay the droid in respects? We did, we did. It's a form of currency in, uh, in the future. Okay, I feel like we should, uh... Tree for purchased androids. That's sad. All right, I think I'm gonna get on the bus now. Android band. Oh, sorry. Android compartment. Oof. There's like an android section of the bus. Yikes. Was that a drone? Yeah, yeah, I know I just stopped for a second too. I was like, wait, what? Apparently the devs did plan to have androids always communicating their minds, but focus testers found it too hard to keep track of who's talking. I could see that. I could see that. Cause there's a lot that are just walking around, you know? Plus like the human conversations. Okay. Wait, I missed interactions. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta be more like... I messed one, two... Three little, like, side interaction things. Yeah. Scrolling is so smooth now? Good. I'm glad. You can't do every option when playthrough. What? So you have to play the game multiple times to get all the interactions? Coming? Sorry, I was looking around really quick. been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Ooh, that's Alice! Nice. Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. Hold, right click to scan the environment. Okay, urgent tasks, collect trash. TV on. Wait, this trash? Maybe just like pick up the things that are trash? Aha, uh -huh. okay. Take. Collect trash. Yeah. Maybe. Depends on what you need. Clean the kitchen. Collect trash. Don't worry about the choices you make as long as you're happy with the decision at the time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, so I'm worried that I'm gonna feel yeah, like place. time yeah. constrained and I'm gonna like make decisions. Right. Well, I guess that's what it is, right? You just go with your initial like gut of like, this is what I wanna do. Pick up. Take out the trash. Okay, also for those Q interactions, you have to hold it, I think, until the Q goes away. Mm. 
Rebuild North Corktown, a better place to live. Actually, I'm not sure why it's still showing me. <laughs> Takes out the trash. Goes to like... Oh, something is locked still. There's something that I'm missing over here. I'll watch a little bit longer. That'd be funny if she tried to, like, she puts the trash can over Todd's head or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Fitz. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm missing for some of the cues, because sometimes it looks like they go away. Fuck, man. I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. Okay. Maybe I'll go say something to Alice first. That's a pretty toy. What's its name? That was weird. Maybe clean the toys that are on the stairs? Okay, maybe not. Make bed. <laughs> Ventilate. Mess the chips and alcohol. You can reread discovered articles in the extras section. Sports. Android QB. Cyberlife unveils Android quarterback. Uh oh. American football has largely resisted the spread of Android players, with top tier games still as exclusively as an exclusively human affair but that may about be about to change following cyber life's recent unveiling of technical demo qb 1000 an android quarterback capable of throwing from end zone to end zone and hitting a target six inches wide the model is also programmed with over 1500 plays from classics such as bootlegs and handoffs to more specialized maneuvers all of which can be adapted in real time Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, the sports ball. Okay, uh, showed a variety of prototypes. While Cyber Life's latest innovation has some fans drooling, Roy Kenstone, founder of the anti Android fan group, sees the sinister aspect. Cyber Life know exactly what they are doing with this demonstration. They hope to distort our sport the same way they have done all the others. Despite these reservations, some consider this simply a matter of time. With basketball and baseball already contemplating Android players, a LED sporting QB might be just around the corner. The 
price of life how driverless vehicles make life and death decisions too a little too real a little too real when did this game come out Ray, what if they had a volleyball one? Oh my gosh, imagine an android just being able to jump like feet into the air and then having like a spike. The ball is like a hundred miles an hour. It'll literally break your like human bones. Why is basketball capitalized and baseball is it? I don't know. And basketball was also two words, which I thought was sort of odd. 2018. Okay, so Tesla was like a thing at that time. Uh, when a driverless vehicle first sees an accident, the car's computer makes life and death decisions. For example, deciding which of two pedestrians to hit. But the exact process by which cars make these decisions is not very well understood. Martin Furlong of Crown Cars tries to clarify. In these situations, the car's imaging system gathers data to determine the pedestrian's age, gender, life expectancy, etc. in a blink of an eye. This data is parsed through a public record to determine marital status, employment record, life expectancy, and whether they have children. The car then assigns a value to each possible victim based on criteria like their contribution to society. We put a premium on lives that will save other lives, like doctors and nurses. All this may sound very reasonable, but Felix Gamble, head of Anti-Automation League, AL, says the system has no right to make such judgments. Somebody with a criminal record is not necessarily less valuable to society than a doctor. That kind of information is irrelevant to the sanctity of human life. But Forlong dismisses such claims. We want our cars to make the best possible choices, and that means acting on the basis of all information they can gather. The more, the better. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Pick it back up. We don't want him to know that we read it. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Yes. How do I... Yes. Okay, we need to set it back to... Whew. No. Yes. Now put it down. At us okay switch on I don't think we should switch this on and now to sports another 225,000 jobs were lost from the Okay, we're, we're gonna leave it on a channel. Ventilate, shift. Oh, both, sorry. Very old, how's it going? Uh, oh, we just need, yeah, just get jumping cars, obviously. Then we'll be okay. They have all these other things and they don't have jumping cars. Okay, pick that up. What is it? Bank papers. Watch it. Clean bathroom, clean restroom. I just want to tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? Okay, we need to go fast. Make the bed. Am 
Why is she afraid of us? And ventilate. Shift. And up. You've unlocked a dialogue or action, often beneficial. Kneel. Yes, I would like to kneel. Uh, friendly. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. My name is Kara. Your father said you chose my name. Or Kara. Kara? Kara. That's nice. That's a very How nice. did you choose it? You seem quiet. You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. Uh, what do you like to do? You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. Todd for new instructions, but I have a key. Open. Really clover. Maybe that's her mom. That's the first time I've seen one of the things go, uh... It went red. Hold on, there's one more thing up here. Look. <laughs> bad, bad vibes, bad vibes. And there's something down below. Cat, a dog, lady on a ladder. Okay, let's clean this while we're here. And mop the floor. Todd gave up, gave off red flames from the start. Yeah, the fact that, oops. Just the way that he was acting in the, uh, in the store to begin with, I was not getting warm and fuzzy vibes. Double check. Go downstairs.
What are you doing? I I'm playing. You're playing. I know what you're thinking. You think your dad's a low life, huh? Fucking loser. Can't get a job. Take care of his family. Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! God. What am I doing? I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. God, okay. Robot living better than me. Yeah, this is a this is an awesome house. But wait, open. doing Take care of Carl can I go through this these doors though oh. okay before I go take care of Carl let's just It's got a giraffe structure, uh, sculpture in his house. <laughs> Tw Twitter in 20 years. You put down that tray like a champ. 
I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing here. Oop. Cute. Marcus is a natural. <laughs> Wait, you don't have a giraffe in your house? I do not, but now I kind of feel like I need one. this dude that he works for We're gonna make everything perfect before we go wake up Carl. He's gonna be able to come downstairs and won't have to be like, why didn't you clean up my spaces before you woke me up? Stump Chunkman, thank you so much for the follow. I see the draft. Something over here. <clears throat> uh, Geimer again. Thank you so much for the follow. Sentry. The North Pole and why Russia wants it. Russia's interest in the North Pole has intensified with the recent discovery of precious minerals trapped in the frozen ice, many of which are used in synthesizing therium. Android manufacture increasingly dominates both the U.S. and Russian economies, but this isn't about GDP. Surplus therium reserves would allow either nation to experiment on more advanced Android models, enhancing their military and industrial output tremendously. Add to this the strategic importance of the region, which connects Russia with Europe through Norway and Denmark, Greenland, as well as Canada, and the prospect of a peaceful resolution to the dispute starts uh, to seem unlikely. But a spokesman for NATO is more optimistic. Both nations stand to benefit from a stable, productive Arctic region. A conflict would benefit nobody. President Warren, however, recently torpedoed the notion. It's simple. Russia has no business in the Arctic. If the Kremlin doesn't understand that, we will make them understand. Okie dokie. Life on Titan. Evidence for alien life grows. Ooh. Uh. What's Titan a moon of? Jupiter? Oh no, Saturn, Saturn. Okay. 
Life found on Titan. Evidence for alien life grows. The Darwin probe, which left exactly 19 years ago to probe the surface of Titan's methane ice, has just confirmed the presence of microorganisms living hundreds of kilometers below the surface in an ocean of salt water protected by a thick layer of ice. After similar microbial matter was found on Enceladus, another satellite of Saturn, it seems increasingly possible that life is common in the universe. A NASA spokesman responded to this story has stated, the latest in a series of pointers to life on other planets. Our android expedition to Io is one among many such voyages that carry a prime objective of uncovering extraterrestrial life forms. Jason Graff, director of humanization at CyberLife, said the company was committed to its partnership with NASA. Our spacefaring androids are specially designed to function on long range missions of this kind, and we are proud to have our models at the frontier of human exploration. Okay, so let's Turn this back to here and set it down. And then we go this way, back into the front. Okay, let us wake up Carl now. Spokesperson. And you want to work at NASA? I do, I do. I'm sorry, NASA sent a probe to the wrong planet. Stream is at 480. Wait, what? May is it there automatically? And you just gotta switch it over? This is such a great game. Stump, I've heard really, really amazing things about it, so I'm very excited to be playing. See what Carl is up to now. Oh, we got some deers prance, deer prancing, plural, and some birds. Nice. This dude has like. I don't know what this is, but this guy's got it in his house. Dinosaurs. Uh. What was the dinosaur from Charlie the Unicorn called? Leo Pluridon or something along those lines? A magical Leoplerodon, Charlie. Okay, before we wake up Carl, unless Carl is going to be very upset that we've been taking a lot of time, you know, I think Carl is going to be more happy that we've preemptively, like, cleaned up his workspace and that sort of stuff. But he's an artist, and maybe he had everything exactly out of place the way that he wanted them. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Okay. All right. Well, I did not think that through. So... We now accept our consequences, whatever they may be. Draw the curtains. I can do that. Uh. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. <laughs> the weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees. 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Oh. Show 
me your arm, please, Carl? No. Carl. Thank you. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. How am I supposed to keep doing these things? Okay, hold, hold. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the scariest cat. Okay. And forward we go. Here we go. Here we go, Carl. Take Carl to the dining room. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, don't bother. Who's Leo? I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Already had it ready. And voila! Television. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. Find something to do. Okay. Let's find something to do. Okay, I can't go in there. I think I missed this. I just walked in front of the TV. Okay, it's fine. Everything is fine. Got a little chess game here. Television off. Mankind is so depressing. Yeah. Nothing but greed, mm -hmm. stupidity, and violence. 5,000 years of civilization just to get to where we are. Hey, let's play some chess, huh? Sit down. <clears throat> Fancy game of chess? Sure, yeah. Speed chess. Speed chess it is. Oh, man. Okay. That is a very odd draw. Tell the truth! Well, I know that you don't like to lose, but you don't like it when I let you win either. A draw feels like an honorable compromise, no? 
One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. I think that's a great idea. <clears throat> I think Ray is officially hooked. I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting that you guys are here. Are you good? How's how's the temperature? How's the volume? Uh Wait for instructions. What would you like to do in here, Carl? Uh How about here? No, not here. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Here. Okay. Don't worry, I wasn't implying anything. No, except the fact that I really am hooked. You're fine, right? Even if we didn't get a nice breakfast. Wait, did I ruin Let's it? Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. Remove the sheet. Give him some space to work. Could I have changed the, the TV channel? Maybe it's something way less depressing. I should have done that in the future. Rookie, thank you for gifting a sub to holding. Oh, you're you're good, Bowie. You're good, Bowie. Yeah, yeah. And no, I I thoroughly, thoroughly am. Although I've never cleaned so much in my whole life as I have in in this game in this stream. So. So. What's your verdict, Marcus? I don't like it. I'm not a very good judge. I, I don't think it's your best work. The truth is I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> okay. Find a subject to paint. Paint statue, paint desk. Those are my only options. I like the desk better. It's colorful. That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't th 
think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go. Try it. Grab that canvas. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Oh, sorry. Okay, you guys can close your eyes. I can't close mine because I need to be here for prompts, okay? Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. No, he doesn't look so <laughs> hey, listen, good. Uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well... It just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer's no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's he got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. could have copied Carl's. I guess that would have been weird. Ooh, I played chess, but what else should I have done here? Or could I have done? One's probably piano. Maybe another is like books or something. Not sure. Copy the dust, statue, paint from the heart, identity, doubts, Leon truths. Are there no happy families in the future? So far, it doesn't seem like it, no. 
Piano and books. All right. So the percentages are um, of all the people that I've played this game. These are the percentages that those people picked or that's the percentage that like you're in or whatever. So 25% of people play chess and then 11% of people draw. And then the other options in here would be ones like playing piano and whatever that percentage is. And yeah, yeah, exactly. So far, this, <laughs> this game seems more depressing than Red Dead. I mean, kind of true. I, and I'm starting to get really nervous, like where this is all sort of leading to. Yeah, because there's this thing of like, all, all of the androids that we've played so far has seen like, the worst of human, it's like not even emotions really, but sort of. And then um, Connor, the negotiator. But that was an android that was there. But it was an android that was thinking so much like a human outside of... I wonder if there's like dots that I should be connecting so far, but it's just not quite... Just not quite. Can't get there. <laughs> Leo wanted the money to go to Tahiti. True. Oh, we're back. No. It seems like I don't have a choice. <laughs> Definitely a place, yeah. Any place where specifically no dogs are allowed, forget it. Fine, Lieutenant Anderson. And faces. Derek Myers. Shit, I thought androids weren't allowed to. I can't see this guy's face. Edward Dempsey. Jonah Graham. Your problem. Christopher Gray. This guy's got a DUI. Jimmy Peterson. Not this guy. Kim Johan. Domestic abuse. Sir, can I just see your face? Do you mind? Oh, gosh. That's him. Okay, that's him, but let's just assess, you know, who's all in here. Narcotic supplier.
you're in here. All right, well, let's introduce ourselves, I guess. Listen, I wouldn't be here, but I need to talk. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. Oh, that's not bad. Are. You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Uh, I understand. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I... I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Uh, reason, reason. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. Oh, he's gonna hurt us. He's gonna hurt us. He's gonna hurt us. Spill his drink. I said you're I done, you sir. You little prick. I don't know what's stopping me from knocking you out. Your sense of duty, Lieutenant. And the cost of repairs if you damage me. For your information, I'm worth a small fortune. Wonders of technology. Okay. Not the best start, stuff. but I, I felt... I don't know. Gotta go. I, I just want Pretty him to close. come with me. It's okay. We're, we're very charming. We're, we're gonna fix this. I tried to understand, and I tried to reason. We didn't need him to show up here drunk. You wait here. I won't be long. I will be patient. Whatever you say, Lieutenant. Fucking name, whatever I say. All right, see? Conflicting orders. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Okay, he asked us to stay in the car, but this really wants me to exit, so... We can't charm him if we're not close enough to talk to him, you know? I get back in the car? Do I get back in the car? I can't get back in the car now. Okay, let's give him a minute. Let's give him a minute. Maybe I'll get out of the road. It's with me. Look at that. Buds. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. Peter Collar, Lieutenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Jesus, that smell it was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner stayed inside most of the time they hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed he's in. One 
worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Gotta wait until morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I I'll be outside if you need me. Okay, review evidence. Red ice, acetone, oh, okay. Victim used drugs. Okay. Kitchen knife, sample. Oh, I hate that they do that. Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? Okay. Got it. <sighs> Fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. Dried blood. More than 19 days. Okay. Analyze. No fingerprints. Android involvement. Each letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No human writes like this. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Ugh, I don't want to look at the victim. Please don't make me. Dried blood. Okay. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked to party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. I feel like this open window is sort of a sign. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Whoa. Eden Club. Yes, for any of you that work in, uh... Maybe I should look at the body. Hey Mike, you finished taking samples there? Yeah, that's it. I'm walking over all the evidence. Okay, it's fine. We'll we'll look at the body last because I feel like I'm just not gonna be very like good with that. Can't look at that. I can look at this though. Tried blood here. Uh, if you work in any sort of investigational police work, don't eat evidence, all right? Just take my word for it. And, oh. For science, for science, we gotta read it. Sorry, ladies, but plastic can't be beat. The result of our survey is in, and it's official. 68% of men prefer with an android to a real woman. And with 52% 52, 52 of men saying they've tried the experience at least once, that's a lot of android love going around. There were a few reasons given for this preference, but we think we know the real reason. Androids don't want to talk about their feelings afterwards. This story was sponsored by Eden Club. Club. Discretion is our middle name. Okay, maybe we see what the other article is, huh? Oh, is your android spying on you? Oh, this can't be good. Cyberlife could be using as androids to collect private information. More and more experts are suggesting that CyberLife use its 120 million androids. 120 million? Oh. 
Oh, yikes. Okay. To record details of private conversations of its customers and sell them to trading partners. Ever talked about buying that new car while eating dinner with your partner? Um, Cyberlife could use that information for targeted advertising. The information goldmine doesn't stop there. Everything from personal indiscretions to political affiliations could easily be extracted and potentially used for nefarious purposes. The spate of reports linking Warren's presidency to CyberLife only deepens such concerns. Several customer rights organizations have requested that CyberLife disclose the information it gathers and who it sells that information to, but the company has always refused. Requests for a formal inquiry have gone in unanswered so far. Okay, let's get out of here. Um... This is, this is where the murder weapon was taken from. Something over here. Oh, the blinds are all mangled and everything. Baseball bat. Fingerprints from Carlos. Okay. Dent. Violent impact. Traces of Therium. Let's reconstruct. Devian took a knife, and he had the baseball bat. Oh, he was hitting it with the baseball bat before it went for the knife. Deviant was attacked. Emotional shock. Maybe it has something to do with the article about the androids listening in. Carlos goes crazy and decides uh, he's gonna kill his android. Android, in shock, is going to protect itself, grabs the knife. Come on, guys. What is it? What is it? the door. Sure. 
is. I don't know what I'm supposed to be seeing with this cue. just a chair outside here. Shoe print. Door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Deviant didn't escape this way. Okay. I mean, there's an open window. Oh, do you really want me to look at the body? I don't want to. <laughs> on him at the time. Deceased. Thanks. Got, got that. Got that. Construct incomplete. Oh, slips. This is where it falls. Victim was stabbed over here, sure. Came from in the kitchen. Regular letters, font, cyber... Okay. Sure. Excuse me? What about this window here? Why with the music, please? I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... In the kitchen. In the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... With the bat. With the bat. Yep. Lines up with the evidence. Go on.
The android then stabbed the, the android victim. android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Right. Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The living room. The living room. Tried to get away from the android. Yep. Slipped on some right, bottles. That makes sense. The android murdered the victim. With the knife. With the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Okay, so let's scan. Aha, I see some blue blood this way. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. And it goes this way. This way. Oh, no. This is where it starts losing the blood. Starts losing it here, and then comes this way. Why, why does it go towards the bathroom? Doubles back. Okay. Sure. And examine. to the attic. Find something to climb with. Okay. Why does some of the blue blood come in here, though? can grab a chair come in here all right take the chair hey 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 what are you doing with that chair I'm going to check something uh -huh. in the attic check something I'm missing something why is there blue blood in the bathroom I don't want to go up there. I have literal goosebumps right now. I do not want to go in this attic and... Oh, it won't let me get out. Oh no. Oh, boy. 
that is. of murder okay it would be one thing if the android is like self-defense right it's it's confused it gets hit with a bat but it stabs this dude 28 times no no that android was a ticking time bomb a murderer waiting to happen it's gonna try to claim self-defense but no God, why did I call it a murder aloud? <laughs> oh, oh my God! Oh my God! Okay, all right. Okay. I was just defending myself. Listen, I don't believe you. He was gonna kill. Okay. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh, shit. Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now! Come on! Oh, that's awful. It's the... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. I might have to use the bathroom. <laughs> I might have to use the bathroom at some point here. This is too much. It's too much. I thought I had red eyes. I don't know. What is this path? This is you just leave, maybe? Oh, no! Okay, if I could go back, I was... I thought I was being helpful. We can't have this guy showing up drunk to the scene of the crime. So I thought I would spill the drink and be like, listen, you're done here. But in hindsight, I probably should have just waited for him outside. So, Zesse Fire and Yogo VFX, thank you guys so much for the follows. He was already drunk. Yes, yeah, so we say we saved him from like n not over. Oh, who who gifted me a bite of cookie? Heck, Daddy! Thank you for the bite of cookie. Okay, this cookie. By the way, Kevin. Kevin, why didn't you say something? I'm so sorry. All right, because I'm late, I'll go for the big chunks. I can't breathe. Wow. All right, well, notifications on screen aren't working, or am I just missing them? Oh my gosh, you know where they are? They're under my camera.
Uh, good call. <laughs> uh, you... <laughs> You aren't missing them. I'm hiding them. Better a chunky cookie than chunky milk? Yeah, I 100% I agree. True. Great use of cover. I feel like I hurt my elbow. Okay. I'm in the 96% of... Hmm. Investigator cookies. I think you hurt your desk. Uh, no. This, it's fine. It's a very sturdy desk. Alright, we're back to Kara. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Serve food. I don't like it's raining. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. That's so. I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. Oh, should I pour his first? What a joke. I feel like he's gonna be mad if I don't pour his first, but I want to pour hers first, so she trusts me. Androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They never tired. They never sad. So fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life! What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off! You should stop taking drugs, Todd. I think Someone that would help. Really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! No! Here. Come back here? Come back here right now! Yes! It's all her fault. I know it's her fault! You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. Everything I could to make her happy it just, it just wasn't enough. I just wasn't good enough for her! Yeah, 
little fucking brat. Oh, it's all her fault. Okay, should I, should I try to make a run for it when he's not looking this way, or should I wait till he overdoses and dies? Because I think he's just going to keep going. Yes. Yes, Todd. You are getting very, very high. You know what I gotta do. Alice! No! Please move. Come on. Get upstairs. Absolutely not. alone you want what do you mean you want you don't want anything you're just a goddamn piece of plastic i think you got a problem we need to fix that watch out kara no shoot I messed up. Kiwi, Kiwi, Kiwi! Roll, roll! Oh, I'm messing it up! I'm messing it up! Kiwi, Kiwi! Come on, come on, come on! D! A! Hey. Stop that! Don't hurt her! Kiwi, Kiwi! Oh, 
God. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, I know you guys can't see it, but oh, my goosebumps are just Oh my gosh. That was All right, where did I mess up? Defend Alice, stun Todd. Maybe do it sooner? <laughs> I forgot how much micromanagement race stream is in volume control. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you stole a child and sat in the human part of the, the bus, bad bot. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Yeah, I don't even know. I'm assuming these are probably not waiting as long like while he's getting high pushing through the don't move and we know that there's an additional exit out of alice's room through the window what is the blue note on the bottom which one this one uh this is go upstairs Kara's and Todd's way downstairs. Todd shoves Kara. Todd goes upstairs. Get to Alice after Todd. Defend, leave room, tra chase, try front door. This is definitely an easier way, probably, uh, if you just go right to the garden, but. Oh yeah, sorry, these are probably really small. I know, I, I couldn't believe that the end of The Last of Us was, uh, my microphone's also a little close right now. Um, this is go upstairs, defend Alice, stun Todd, leave the room, Todd chases Kara, try front door, fail to open door. There was a way to go through the front door. There was something you could have used. Uh, the key, maybe? Maybe a front door key. That's how you get out. But instead, we go into a secondary fight downstairs. Escape. Oh, I feel like I was so close to dying there as well. Whew. I was not prepared for the dodging moves and stuff, and I felt very... That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're gonna make out of it. 
Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. All right, drink it is. Oh, sorry, let's go this way. Scotch, neat as usual? Absolutely. Good okay, taste, good taste. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, you can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Four. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Call. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. No, we should not go check that out, sir. I didn't serve the scotch. I don't think we should go in there. Sir, how about we wait? How about that scotch, maybe? Oh no. I don't wanna check it out. Maybe I go check it out? Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. I don't think you should, sir. But maybe I don't want him alone either. Okay, let me check the room. Let me check the room. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh. Oh. Oh, my brain. My brain, my brain, my brain, my brain. Okay. If, if I bring him with me and something happens, am I going to feel worse than if I not bring him in here and something bad happens to him out here? Oh. Come on. Why do we have to do this? Why? Okay, if it's his son that's in there. I feel like I need him closer to me. Oh, or maybe we could wait outside. Maybe we could wait outside. Uh, okay, we can actually not go back. We cannot go back. Okay, if it's his son in there, just like ripping all of his art apart, like who cares? But what if it's his son in there and like... Oh God, oh God. What else could it be? What if it's a surprise party? What if all the really fun people that were at the party are actually back here and now they're celebrating in a studio? Um, Leo, what are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. 
Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Make Leo leave. Okay, I advise you to leave. You should go before things get worse. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes what? it so special oh. anyway, huh? What's he got that I don't- Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one! Stop it! Doesn't matter too much of a pussy! Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! No. Uh, but he's asking me to! Person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. Then I'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart, and nobody. destroy you Marcus you gotta go get out of here <laughs> Carl I, I I didn't mean to get out now go Marcus don't fucking move Club.
Amp and Kate, thank you guys so much for the follows. Ah, <sighs> uh, so stupid. I should have just listened. I should have just listened. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? <sighs> Say something, goddammit! Wait, you can retry? I mean, I uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't Fuck retry it. anyways yeah. because like I need this so that I remember moving forward that I don't want to feel like this We're wasting again. our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. What the fuck is it doing now? Alright, so I can... Oop, browse the file. Okay, I've gone through so many tissues already. Everybody, we just, if you are in chat and you're cutting onions, please. Gather clues. Find appropriate approach. Signs of software instability, probability of self-destruction low. I guess that's good, right? Damage 
level two caused by baseball bat. Reach optimal stress for confession. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? Show photos. Optimal, we want you him, him stressed out. It's Carlos Ortiz. Stabbed 28 times. That was written on the wall in his blood. Threaten. You've refused to talk since they arrested you. If you don't cooperate, they'll do things the hard way. Is that what you want? If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. What? What are they going to do to me? going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I... I can't. Choose approach. Convince? Wait, what's it mean by convince it? I, I'm unsure what convince it means, so I'm gonna go pressure. 28 stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? Too high, too high. Give up, give up, give up. All right. All right. Everything is going to be okay. We're still an optimal. We're still an optimal. I uh, I don't know what convince it means. I don't know if it if convince it is like a lying tactic, but I don't want to lie to them anymore. You leave me no choice. <clears throat> its memory. I know what happened. Uh, convince it was to convince him to just confess to me. That that must be what it is because that was like that's not the way that should have happened.
Fuck. Destroying itself. Stop it, goddammit! I, I, I can't! I, I can't stop it! Intervene. That's enough. You need to stop that right now. Watch out! Holy shit! This is going off the rails fast. The the craziest part of this whole thing is like I uh, I'm trying to take learnings of like previous sessions and then apply it. So I'm trying to not lie. Like uh, I don't want that feeling of like having lied to them. So twice I tell this guy the truth. I I get a little iffy on what convince means. So then I go for the memory and then everything, everything that I had done leading up to that is completely wiped away. Like, trying to intervene at the ends, like, uh, like, I recognize there's a couple of paths that end up leading here. Probe. I shouldn't have probed. <laughs> you should leave when you get a chance. I know, he's amazing. I can't believe I got Brian killed. I don't even want to go on. I don't even want to go on playing anymore. The only robot so far that I haven't managed to get killed is Kara. Oh, Pleb, thank you for the cookie. There's multiple endings, so you'll have fun replay. It's worth it, even from here. The interrogation is tricky. It's the scene I replayed first. Hmm. It's definitely still worth it. Adzi, Feisty, Ghost, and Jackson, thank you guys all very much so much for the follows. <laughs> How do we get Kara killed? I don't know. Guess what? Kara lives if I don't play this game anymore. So. Hey, 
And you thought you would take a break from the misery simulator. That is The Last of Us. Yeah, this was supposed to be a nice little in-between game for The Last of Us. And so far, I have a pile of tissues. I think I have an eyelash in my eye. I've gotten all the robots killed when I'm just trying to help. The misunderstandings are piling up. My heart is broken. And I, I don't even... <laughs> it's super ambitious that Ray's going for the bad karma route first playthrough. And the thing is, I'm really... <laughs> and I just... I'm just trying to help, and then everybody dies when I try to help. I mean, I guess I'm speed running the game at this point. Some Somebody put this in the timer because game is going to be over. Robots are going to be dead. Oh, it could it could be worse. Right, right. Thank you for using Detroit buses. <gasps> no. All right. No, 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 no. End of the line. End of the line. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Combo, thank you so much for the follow. Wake up. We have to go. I think I broke the game. Oh no, we're fine. I didn't actually pick anything there, so... You gonna be okay? We'll find somewhere to spend the night. not good. We've got to hurry. Let's not walk in the road. Okay, we got to find the safest place we can to spend the night. Salmon. Comfortable, but not discreet. We'll need money. Okay, not an option then. Uncomfortable but safe, how to get in. Very uncomfortable but discreet. Open 24 seven, can't sleep here, ask for help. Uh, yeah, I think I took too long. Okay. We need money. <sighs> okay. Open 24 seven, can't stay. So I think we need to go somewhere discreet. Uncomfortable, but safe. Very uncomfortable, but discreet. Okay. Uh, safe is one that I'm looking for. How to get in. I think we gotta do this one. I'm thinking this. The, the other option. 
Oh, let's go to the crosswalk. Or do we ask for help? I'm afraid that if we ask this guy for help... Oh god, oh god, please no, please no. Alice, honey, this way? Okay, I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Okay, maybe we can ask the guy in the 24-7 for a little bit of money to stay in the motel. <laughs> I mean, it's 2 a.m. The gas station clerk is underpaid and underappreciated, but uh, you could be a murderer. He probably ain't going to care. I think we should maybe ask... <laughs> it's all good explosive. Okay. Let's ask the guy for money. So then we can stay in the hotel. It's warm. Out of the rain. Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. Uh Okay. We can't steal. Let's just let's just weigh our options here. Oh, I don't think they rotate. This one goes. Okay, we need to make a plan. I feel like we shouldn't go in the motel. Like, if we could find a way into that building, that would be pretty awesome. When it starts to turn. It doesn't really turn far enough away. Like, definitely able to see me stealing something. Is Alice going to be mad if I steal? Like... Wait, 
What was that? Yes. Alice, I need your help. You see those cans over there? I want you to go over and knock them down. Knock them down? But why? No, 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 no. Alice, just trust me. Wait, no. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Whoa, wait, wait. I, I take it back. I take it back. No, Alice, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh. I am very sorry. I am very sorry for what has happened here today. You all right? Are you hurt? Well, don't worry. It's just a few cans. They made a lot of noise, that's all. Hey, what's a little girl like? Come on, let's go. We have some cash now. You used me to steal that money. Oh, I How knew she was going to be upset. You. Listen, I thought I was going to use you to be like, listen, this little girl. Oh, apologize. You're right. It was, an, it was a misunderstanding. That. I'm sorry, Alice. I'll never do it again. It was just a misunderstanding. Okay. I think we should still sleep outside. I think we should probably sleep outside. Check the house, check the parking lot. Okay. We're, we're gonna check the house. Oh god, oh gosh. Please, please, just run fast, run fast. I'm really sorry. I thought we were gonna use you as like, please just An abandoned house. give us money. At least we'd be out of the rain. True. Kara. I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night and no one will look for us here. Can cut through the fence with a wire cutter. Okay. Um. Okay, maybe we go back and talk to this guy. Let's talk to this guy and be like, listen, I did steal money and I feel really sorry. Like, I feel awful about it. It's It was a misunderstanding with the cans. There's nothing more this way. Oh, we can't go back. Okay, that's bad. That is not good because now we can't get the wire cutters. What's wrong with the motel again? Unless there's a wire cutter in the parking lot. <laughs> Returning to the scene of the crime to apologize for stealing because we now know it's wrong. Okay, we... Well, we cannot sleep in that car. That, like, we can't. That's a no. But do we think if we, if we enter into the parking lot, do we think there could be wire cutters in there? I mean, if we're if we're gonna get if we're gonna get in trouble anyways, I feel like we should just sleep in the hotel. Or motel. 
But will he find us there? That's what I'm concerned about. Build. Oh god, she's sick. She's sick. I'm spending too much time. But now that I have money, maybe... Okay, hold on. New plan. No, don't walk. Don't walk. Don't walk. Don't walk. Okay, now walk. Now walk. Okay. We can use some of the money to dry our clothes. Yes. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. Change our clothes. Like this. Okay. The bee line to disaster. Pollinating bees officially extinct. For decades, scientists and farmers foresaw the inevitable extinction of bee populations. Despite these warnings, the Global Institute for Endangered Species, or GIES, announced at their Washington AGM yesterday that wild bees are now officially extinct. Living specimens exist only in captivity. Bee numbers have been ravaged in recent decades by colony collapse disorder, where worker bees disappear, leaving hives that cannot feed themselves. Biologists confirm that CCD was accelerated by the overuse of pesticides in crops, parasites, and pollution. The consequences of this catastrophe will be felt across the cotton industry, fresh water supplies, and most disturbingly, agriculture. Environmentalist Kathy Linda has stressed the breadth of this news. One in three mouthfuls of food we eat relies on pollination of some kind. The resulting famine will lead to millions of deaths worldwide. CyberLife, in cooperation with GIES, have come forward with plans on creating robotic bees. Some are pursuing non-robotic approaches, such as Detroit Urban Farms, currently experimenting with modified strains of bee produced in captivity, but there is no guarantee that they will thrive. Okay, have you guys ever seen the episode of Black Mirror that has the robotic bees? Oh no, it's time to face the music. Yikes, right? Oh my gosh, it's... That's exact, that's like, it's too, it's too real. It's too real. It's time to face the music, live concerts to make a comeback. For the younger generation, watching concerts in VR has become the norm. And who wouldn't want to slip on a VR headset and enjoy the show from the best seat in the house? It's cheap, safe, and no hassle solution to watching your favorite performers. But live music is about to be de-revolutionized. Nina and Kasuk Music have launched a campaign to bring back old school concerts with live audiences in front of performers in the flesh. Chuck Morrison, NKM spokesperson, explains, the culture of going to a live concert is a thing of the past, but we want to bring that back. Real music is when it's vibrating through your soul, surrounded by people who are experiencing the same thing. Break the Wall will be one of the first bands to take the stage. Performing in front of a live audience and getting an immediate reaction will be mind-blowing. This is what music is supposed to be all about, says lead singer Baz Rudd. The hype, the applause, the screams, you just don't get that sitting on your sofa. If this proves a success, NKM's next step is to bring back music festivals, which would be music to fans' ears. Okay. Okay, we need to change our clothes. Let's change our clothes. Yes. We 
really need to, though. I'm sorry, Alice, but we have to do this. Well, we'll leave him some money. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I know, I promise, but the thing is, she could get really sick. She has to get dry and warm clothes. Okay, this has gone too far. I don't think we need the hat as well. Really? Change of clothes. Now I can leave. Okay, he's gonna be fine. I didn't have the option to give him money, so... Should I keep exploring? Maybe I'll keep exploring. Maybe there's something else we're missing here. Okay, we could go to the motel now. Um, could go to the motel. Oh, I don't know, he's still got some clothes on him. Maybe steal the car too. Oh, what if the car works? True. Okay. I think we, we gotta play it safe. I don't think we go to the hotel. Even though we have the new clothes, But is Alice gonna like that if we go sleep in the car? But we're disguised. I think we should try the, the hotel. Now that we have the new clothes. Don't regret this, Ray. Please don't regret this. Hi. Uh, hi. I'd like a room. That'll be forty dollars up front. Hey. Just need your name and address. See your driver's license. Uh, I don't have one. I haven't got it with me. Please, the kid is tired. No worries. We okay. can deal with it tomorrow. Perfect. Yeah, I would love to deal with it tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Have a good night. You too. Good night. We said her name out loud. Do you think he believed you? I don't know, Alice. Not a shot. All I know is you'll be nice and warm tonight. And 28, which is up the stairs. our room. Turn on the lights. Here. 
Give me your coat. My coat. Okay, let's talk to Alice. Let's get these clothes off. They're soaking wet. I'll just put these in the bathroom to dry. What am I, what am I missing in here? Okay. This seems like it's the thing to do, but putting the clothes on the dryer, what if it starts a fire? I guess if it starts a fire, then the guy probably cares less about us showing our ID tomorrow. But... Can we just hang it over? Okay, we can't. Uh... That's gonna turn to a fire. Uh, I already know it, but... In England, we dry our clothes like that 75% of the time. On top of a radiator? <laughs> it's, it's a radiator. It can't catch fire. Yeah, that's what, you, that's what you want me to think. That's what you want me to think. But why couldn't we just hang it over the top of the shower like normal people? Okay. Hold on. Let's close this. Outside. And talk. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why couldn't we just be happy? I don't know. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I mean, like I'm my on my own, I'm never gonna leave, but like I literally I cannot promise because I've kidnapped you and there's laws and we've kind of broken the laws a couple of times. Uh but I think she needs she needs a promise right now. She needs a promise. I promise. Yes. Will we be together forever? Yes. Forever. Forever. Why do they always have the option to look themselves?
I do now? <laughs> I'm afraid to make choices now because everything that has good intentions, like, ends up, like, if I get into the bed, did I miss a chance to look out the window and see something bad happen? This feels like the right thing to do. Okay. Trusted. This is good. Alright, this is gonna be a nightmare, probably. Watch Alice from the chair. Oh, that's not great. Okay, so. How did we get here? How did we get here, folks? Hotel, check in. What clothes? So clothes. Oh, being able to wear the clothes. Okay, well. A. <laughs> Nobody died this time, so that's an improvement. Okay, this is good. We're the trajectory we're on right now. Uh, less death. That's good. That's good. Holy notes. Walk away, as in walk out the door, and never return. That's if I could go back and convince, I I would. I had no idea convinced to me sounded like a lie and I just chose two options that were not lies. It's it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Okay. We got this though. We got this though. What is this? audio data stand I'm missing part of my legs that's not great place legs crawl 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 come on keep going Marcus There's a leg. Sit up. Remove my old icky leg. Push away. 
Get out of here. Analyze. Nice. Sit up. Oop, my bad. Take. Plug. Okay, got some new legs. Stand. Escape the junkyard. Please don't. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jellico. Find Jellico. Even better. Oh no. Oh no. It's so loud. know what I'm looking at right now. Try climbing. Okay, I can't climb yet. Makes sense, makes sense. Okay.
that. Thank you. Go fast! see an eyeball okay i'm back having a good time no i'm pretty sure i'm getting the worst ending at this point i've i've managed to kill everybody that i love this is why we can't have nice things I just need an eye. One eyeball. Okay. That's good. We can steal the eye. Hello. I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do for you? Give me your eyeball. Hello. I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do for you? My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest CyberLife Maintenance Center. not good. Why do we need that? Off?
Okay. Search for parts. Marcus came back from the dead. Okay, so all the endings get you to here, I'm I'm assuming. Okay, Marcus is back from the dead. spin. Is this what Android Heaven looks like? Bunny. Excuse me. Uh, hello? Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Your predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. It knew deviance could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I will not make the same I mistake. I don't intend to. I will not. When a Connor model is destroyed, mm -hmm. it costs its a lot of money. Transferred to the next one. Oh. But some data can be lost in the process. Sure. Avoid being destroyed. Yeah. It will be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It was traumatized. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? Intriguing. I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But was starting I also to come think around. He to be a good detective. Yeah, right. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Adapt. I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. Oh, no, no. Oh, Amanda, I'm sorry. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. 
Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Okay. Uh... Go to reception. Hello, can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Connect. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Tensions in the it Arctic have reached a new level. A Russian carrier and yeah. an American patrol boat reported to have clashed Would last like night. Several warning shots were exchanged, sure. apparently with no damage or casualties to either side. The Minister for Defense, Dennis Riggs, has spoken of intolerable provocation that cannot go unanswered. The countries in the region, particularly Sweden and Canada, it shouldn't be too long. To withdraw. Uh... All right, I'm just gonna go through here, I guess. So far, there has been no response from either Moscow or Washington. We'll keep you in for Oh my gosh. Read. Miller. Oh, <gasps> you, you. You and you come with me. Uh, all right, stay focused, Ray. Stay focused. No nameplate. Anderson. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Down, I guess. Explore new office. All right, let's stand up. Learn about Lieutenant Anderson. Listen. Knights of the Black Death, heavy metal. Okay. What's that called? Analyze. Who's to analyze? Jimmy's bar matches, I see. Saint Bernard? It's got a doggo. That's cute. Not seen since 2019. Owes me $50. Good cop, real police. Nice girl. Red Ice Task Force, multi-department unit responsible for the Red Ice Network dismantle of 2028. Sorry. Detroit Basketball Cap. Uh... 
anti-android slogans use your brain not your android android free space Donuts. Yep, gotta have good donuts. Uh, a dead Japanese maple. And cold coffee. I like some coffee. So let's do all this to research. Uh, I totally agreed. I like myself a good donut, but just prefer cookies. Okay. Detroit police dismantle a network of red ice dealers. More than 50 arrests throughout the country. Detroit's finest has dealt a massive blow to the city's growing red ice epidemic. With a number of high profile dealers and supplies now behind bars and narcotics seized with a street value of $500,000. Detective Hank Anderson, a young but hugely talented detective, is said to have been instrumental in the operation, which took months of planning. The DA described the work of the detective of Detective Anderson and his colleagues as model investigative police work. Detective Anderson promoted to the rank of lieutenant, becoming the youngest lieutenant on the Detroit Police Force. Lieutenant Hank Anderson was among the most decorated detectives in DPD's recent history, securing a number of high profile arrests and serving as an integral member of the force. Captain Fowler said the promotion was long overdue, describing Anderson as among the most talented police I've ever worked with. The new lieutenant is expected to rise quickly through the ranks of the department and is already being tipped as a future commissioner. New record seizure of red ice in Detroit. Nearly a ton of red ice discovered in the hold of a boat after a long investigation conducted by Lieutenant Anderson of the Detroit Police Force. Whoa. Don, how's it going? I'm off to bed. Please try not to kill too many androids while I'm away. Okay, I'm I'm trying my best, Dig, but things, there's misunderstandings. You make one wrong choice that you are trying to be cautious of and then people die. It's very unfortunate. Okay, so I think we are good here. Lieutenant Anderson was a decorated officer. Yes. Hello, Lieutenant. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed, but Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, Jesus. Hank, in my office. Oops. Enter and listen in. Or explore the office. Wait, are these options? Explore the PlayStation, listen to the briefing. I feel like I need to be in here. Is he gonna be mad I'm in here? I've got 10 new cases involving androids on my desk every day. Mm -hmm. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick! 
Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job James or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Uh, file? I would like to start reviewing the case files. Can you tell me where I can... Talk to Hank. Close the door on your way out. Okay, sure. Have a nice day, Captain. I will see myself out then. Go check on Hank. Uh, understanding or pragmatic? How about pragmatic? Of course I want to see you. Wait, new Connor? Baby, listen, I can't talk. What's that I mean? I understand the destruction of my predecessor may have been unpleasant for you, Lieutenant. I'll do everything I can to make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh partners. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Maybe ask about his desk? Is there a desk anywhere I could use? Oh. No one's using that one. Perfect. Desk mates. Cool. That's cool. Yep. It's a great desk. I like it a lot. Hold on. Can I talk to him one more time? Maybe just one more. Okay, I cannot. Uh, dog. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. Sumo. I call him Sumo. That's a great name. Uh, and basketball. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Cool. Oh. Oh, that got interrupted. Right. Um, music. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. Hey. Nice. And anti-androids. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. With red ice. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? You really <laughs> Yeah. How much is it? There is one. What's that? Oh, okay. Um, Fowler. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? 
Yeah. Too long. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? I shouldn't have asked about the hours thing. Oh, don't go down, don't go down. Okay. Mm. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. I would like to access. Okay. Case assigned to open. I'm calling the android. All right, missing. The plaintiff reports that he left his android at home as usual when he went to work. When he returned, the android was nowhere to be found. No trace of a break in the apartment. The android may have left the home without being ordered to. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by an AV500 number 2347782 model android working as a waiter in the Fast Coney Dogs restaurant chain situated at 842 Chamberlain Avenue. The plaintiff claims the android lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle the man before leaving the scene. The android remains at large. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her android, an AP700-480-913-802 model. The android also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. Okay. The plaintiff, the manager of the Eden Club, reported the unexplained disappearance of a Android model WR400-641790831. The Android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned back to the club. Leo Manfred was found unconscious in the home of his father, Carl Manfred. The Ladder's witness statement attests to an altercation between his son and the house android. The android is thought to be a prototype, unknown model, and serial number, and was destroyed at the scene by attending officers. Yeah, but this one was a misunderstanding. It was a shove, and you just never think that, you know, bad things are going to happen, because it was just a shove. So, ooh, ooh. The plaintiff claims he was violently attacked by his domestic android, an AX400 model. The android had just returned from being repaired the previous day and had shown signs of aggression in the past. Okay, that is false. Okay, maybe it's true, but there is a very good reason why she was aggressive to him previously. Um, because... Okay, also nothing in this report about, you know, his daughter being gone. Nothing about that either. What is this? This is Detroit Become Human. <laughs> Working fast food does that to people. How are you liking Detroit? Oh, okay, so I am loving Detroit, but I have so many regrets already uh, with how I've played the game. Like, choices that I've made that I'm like, this is not the intended outcome that I wanted. And I just want, I just want a do-over. Just like, I don't even know, like three do-overs, maybe four do-overs, and I would be so much happier. Are you enjoying it? I'm really, really enjoying it dancing. It's really good. Uh, it looks amazing. So far, the story is really amazing. And it's one of those every, every decision you make counts, which is very scary. And when misunderstandings happen, 
bad things happen. So it's sort of a lot of pressure. Um, these four, haven't we seen them before? Like, this guy, well, okay, he looks very similar to the guy that was working in the paint shop. I thought this was the girl that we saw in the park. And I don't know, this guy, like over near, like you're walking to the paint. Like they just, they all look very familiar. Okay, let's scan all the files, so. 243 files. Oh. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Understanding? I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them, and- Hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? Oh, uh, should I went professional? Don't go down, don't go down, don't go down. Uh, determined? I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. No, this is not. This is not. Listen, asshole. Okay. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are going to get nasty. I, Lieutenant? I can't figure out how to be nice to you. you. you really I have some friends. information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. I'll chase it up. I can't. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Okay, uh... Oh, let's see it. Okay! All right, now I feel less bad that 97% of people end up here, so that makes me feel slightly better. I guess maybe I could have explored. Hmm, there's something here. I missed something else in the garden, though. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. So it wasn't a nightmare? No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. Uh, a bath? How about a nice warm bath? And then we can go out and try to get you something to eat. What do you say? Okay. Okay. I'll run you a bath. You stole the cash then? Okay, Axe, but 
the way we went about it is not as awful and deviant as you think. It was a series of misunderstandings. Wait. Does she not want a bath then? Max is like, okay, all right, whatever you say, Ray. Uh, what's happening here? Oh, the bath. Do I turn the bath on? There we go. Okay, that makes sense that I would ask her about a bath and then I go to the bath to turn on. What are we doing? What are we cutting? Oh. Please don't cut your hair. How do I get out of here? No, you don't need to cut it. You don't need to cut it. <laughs> I was just gonna ask that. Um, okay, so... Just gonna give ourselves a little haircut then. I don't know, do you, I think the white is kind of cool. Maybe people think she's like a grandma? Oh, it's blonde again. I mean, I think she looks the best with the blonde, but I feel like... No, she she pulls, she pulls off the short-haired look. I think we should go white, because we're trying... We're going for grandma here, okay? Grandma. Should we like clean the sink or okay, let's stop this? You're pretty like that. 
You really look like a human now. Uh, like a human. Your bath's ready. Grandma, or. Read, I guess. Hey, we became human. Great work, great work. Uh, all right, Cyber Wildlife. First Android Zoo opens. Cyber Life is set to open the first Android Zoo in Los Angeles, which will exhibit all exotic species uh, to have who have become extinct in the last 30 years. Blue turtles, polar bears, mountain gorillas, African elephants, and several species of tiger will be among the most high-profile attractions. CyberLife CSR spokeswoman Danielle Carnegie said the zoo caters to people of all ages and has a special mission to educate and inspire the younger generation about the importance of protecting our fragile environment. Though some environmentalists have claimed the zoo will diminish popular concern for the extinction of real animals, it's difficult not to be enthusiastic about technology being used to recreate banished species. The animals themselves have yet to be unveiled, but CyberLife promises they will be more real than the real thing. No doubt an ideal weekend trip for the family. And Canada, still an android free zone. Despite the United States voting in its Android Act as early as 2028, the Canadian Parliament has yet again pushed back its decision on whether to permit Androids in the country. As a result, Androids are still not sold in Canada and have no official status in the country. With Androids continuing to feel unprecedented growth in the U.S. economy, yet contributing to record levels of unemployment, the arguments for and against putting them on sale in Canada rages on. But for the time being, Canada remains an Android-free zone. Marathon. Thanks, Michael. I'm joined by Corktown resident Todd Williams, who was violently attacked by his AX400 around 11 p.m. last night. Todd, can you tell us what happened? I was having dinner. I was minding my own business. The damn thing jumped on me. I managed to defend myself, but it went crazy. I thought it was going to kill me. So I fought it off, but it ran away. Thank you, Todd. Disturbing news for Android owners everywhere. Police have launched a search to find the Android. Let's hope they find it fast. It's not true. He's lying. He's the one who tried to hurt us. We know that. We know that. What are we going to do? We have nowhere to go. And the police are looking for us now. Contact Android? Family? Well, what's the family one? Contact Android? The one from across town? Thank you so much for the raid. What are you playing? Resident Evil 4? Oh my gosh. Uh, you are very brave. I'm, I am struggling playing uh, Detroit right now. I, can, I can't even watch people play the Resident Evil game. So good on you. Hello, raiders. How's it going, everybody? Hi, hi. <laughs> um, literally imagine. I Like, I can't. CD, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. 
Uh, Twitch keeps recommending me to Ray and Danger. Said some nice stuff about her, so I thought I would come check out Ray. Well, thank you so much. And Danger, thank you for the kind words. That's probably more than I deserve. I appreciate it. Da Danger is the real... She's gold here. Uh, how was Resident Evil? How I... I... <laughs> I have never even seen somebody play any of the games. I literally cannot handle it. Um, also, have you played through Detroit Become Human before? This game is great. I've played it three times. I hope you're enjoying it. Okay, good. You've played it before. Uh, so, I'm, I'm absolutely enjoying it so far. I have a stack of tissues next to me because I have had my heart broken numerous times from okay they like there's no you're trying to do the right thing you're trying to be a good person and then like one little teensy thing happens and then people die and it's just it's very it's hard it's hard uh vif vifon fuzzy cd and ambrose thank you guys all so much for the follows Pat Pat Ray. It's been, yeah, it, it's been brutal. I've made some mistakes and in my next playthrough, I'm gonna do things way better, but I'm trying to learn and make it right. I'm trying to be a good person from here on out and, and just, you know, fix what I can. I'm playing the Resident Evil games in a weird order, but I'm really enjoying Resident Evil 4. And yes, this game destroyed me. Like, actually, I had to step away at one point. I hope you love it as much as I did. I'm, so far, I am loving it, and I totally get that. Like, oh, are they getting, okay, is there a better place for my cam? I can maybe put it, like, top corner or something. <laughs> All right, noted, thank you, Jeff. Um. Yeah, I totally get that stepping away part. I probably should have taken a teensy bit of a break after I did a bad thing a couple minutes ago, but hey, here we are. And now I'm in a tough decision. Okay. By family, I don't know if we're going to say to Alice, like, we're a family now, we're going to be okay. Um, or if we're going to be like, do you have any additional family or what's going on? I feel like we should just contact the android. That's That feels the most safe to me. I don't know where the family route is going to take us and I like can't take any chances because I keep messing up and we got to get out of here. So that Android yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. Could be worth a try. Oh, she doesn't like that. Comfort, comfort. We can't change the past, Alice. But we can decide the future. We're gonna pull through, and soon all this will just be a bad memory. Okay. Finished getting ready. I'll go out and find some food for you, and then we can get going. No, 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 no. We can't leave her here. Oh, gosh. Oh, we're going to leave her here. That's not good. That is not good. Uh, I'd rather that not be... I would like to put on my hat and jacket, maybe? <laughs> okay, wait, there's something to do over here. Maybe I can turn the TV back on?
Or maybe I can ask her if she wants to grab breakfast with me. Why, why is it making me feel like I've made a bad choice? Oh. Oh no. Lieutenant Anderson, Detroit Police. Looking for a female android robbed a store down the road last night. You seen anything? An android? No. I don't take androids here. Have you seen anyone that looks like this? Fuck. I knew there was something weird about her. She came in last night. She was dressed normal, you know? There was no way I could tell. Is it still here? Yeah, probably. Room 28. Thank you. <sighs> No, no, no. Ben, yeah, it's still at the motel. Sent some uniforms and cordon off the area. I'm heading to its room now. You wait in the car. Rational. You're going to need me, Lieutenant. I know more about androids than you do. Listen, I'm tired of you talking back to me. You're a machine, so shut the fuck up and do what I say. All I want is to accomplish my mission. I'm sorry if that upsets you. You want to see the end of your mission? Stop busting my fucking balls. Oh, now he's hostile. Oh, no. Okay, we just agree with whatever he wants. Don't ask so many questions. Don't bring up the android thing. I hope they left. I hope they left. It's gone. Woo! Cafe Games, thank you so much for the follow. Sneak past the cops. Hide. Hide, 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 hide. And Q. Cross the street, cross the street. Oh God, we're not supposed to be walking. It's fine, it's fine. Obviously androids would do things by the, by the rules. Okay, let's turn around. And let's just head back. Maybe we can walk like... Oh, fuck, that's death. No! Hey, stop, police! No, 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 no! Which way did it go? That way, they're headed for the train station. Oh, I messed this up, I messed this up, okay. Oh, if I grabbed an umbrella. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I mean, I don't really want him to catch them, is the thing. So. They're over there! Look 
this. Oh, just missed some. Sorry, Connor. Oh, fuck. That's insane. too late planned oh boy run toward their last known position this is maybe maybe not great I feel a little iffy about being in the 3% on this one Oh my gosh. Cut in color hair. Uh, couldn't you get them out of trouble by reading her memory as the detective? We can't do that anymore. No, because we something very serious happened the last time that we didn't just talk to the android and get their side of the story and we tried to just read the memory. We can't do that. Um, okay, so my guess is one of these is going to be the abandoned house. One of these is going to be the abandoned car. Uh... Which one of them gets you into the street? Hmm. This path. Everything gets you pursued by Connor, though? I guess except whatever this is. Also, not getting spotted by the police would have been a nice outcome. I, I definitely should try for that. <laughs> definitely should try for that next time. I was afraid to steal the umbrella with the cops there, but I think that that was probably the way out. Um, and then I panicked. Connor pursues Kara, run towards their last known position, reach the fence too late. So you can run toward their last position. Is this catching them? I don't know. Maybe this is catching them too, though. Oh, there's like a lot more outcomes to this story. Okay, well, <laughs> it's... Um, my, my little 3% percentile on this does not make me feel warm and fuzzy. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm on hard mode. I'm on hard mode. And that was another mistake. Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. Detroit police have the graffiti. Okay, so we've got person's like outline or face. They have a symbol on their chest. It's like a circle with like a smaller circle sort of completing it. Let 
me? I'm really sorry, I have no money on me at all. Yeah. I know. It's crazy, right? Android on the run. The scene when you put yourself back together is pretty dope, right? It is pretty cool. It was scary. There were a couple of jump scares, but we we managed to pull ourselves together and very disturbing, but cool. Android on the run. Runaway machine causes panic in Camden. Residents in the Detroit suburb of Camden were witness to a thrilling chase today after a police manhunt, including roadblocks and dozens of police interviews, flushed out a felony fugitive. But this fugitive with a difference. The suspect is an android. The rogue AX400 model is thought to be suffering from an extremely rare malfunction and took extreme measures to avoid police, even dashing across a busy highway to avoid pursuing officers. Eyewitness statements are inconclusive and with no official report, it's impossible to say for sure what really happened, but local news correspondents are looking into the case this very moment. No several life sp spokesperson was available for comment and the speculation looks uh, set to continue. Why is nobody saying anything that the android has like a kid like, Todd doesn't mention it when he gets interviewed by the police outside of his house. This report here is not saying anything about it. Android astronauts to explore Io. NASA announced the, la the launch of a five Android crew to explore Io, one of Jupiter's satellites. The journey will last three years and expected to teach us much about the formation of our solar system. Though not the first androids in space, this is the first all-machine crew, proving that androids are sufficiently reliable to be entrusted with the entire mission. Yikes. Androids are an extraordinary asset for the conquest of space, said Michael Shelley, director of NASA. Cosmic radiation destroys human DNA. Humans suffer many effects from long-term space travel, while androids are immune to most of these issues. NASA confirmed no return journey was planned and that several androids would work on Io for several months before being destroyed by the extreme conditions of the planet. Wow. Eighty-eight percent. I promise I didn't. I was really, I was not feeling well. I was not feeling well. I would never, oh, this dude. Okay, hold on. Before we, before we do that, let's just, let's just see. Okay, fine. Find this symbol in the graffiti? This? This? Clue updated. Find this graffiti. It's like the side of a lion's face. And I don't know what the thing on the left hand side is. Gamer of all and Sarius, thank you guys so much for the follows. Darly, thank you so much for the follow. Hi, I joined the raid, but had to <laughs> cookie dinners and make brownies. That is totally okay, gamer. Hopefully you brought some brownies to share. Okay, so now we need to find... We need to find... Android only. Good thing we're not an Android. Aha. 
Aha, I see it. But before we go over to it... Okay. Do I talk to this android or are people gonna be like, what the heck? What's happening here? Hey everyone, I came from the Rage's Bell. Xena, hello, hello. Ah, dancing, thank you for the bite of cookie. Grandma says it leaves her with nothing to do But she's so cool. I know. Mm, the guy walked away. He walked away. Do you know where Jericho is? All right. Right? To decipher the next clue. Oh, there's two symbols? Aha! Nice. Okay, so star... Yes, I did bring some, however, they're still cooking. All right, let, let them finish, let them finish. Um, so we need to find a doorway that has a little purple star over the top of it. Purple stars. Rob, the king of plants, thank you so much for the follow. I will wait here and I will cross when it is green. I don't want to. I feel like I'm missing. Uh oh. All right, let's run, run, run. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Okay. The light is green. I'm sure it is. Robots. Haha. -ha. Oh, do I need to get in here? This is one though. We 
gotta keep going. Okay, it's a woman's face. I thought we were gonna have to like jump into that thingy there. There it is! the roof. Okay. Oh my gosh, imagine. Oh my gosh! How timely after playing The Last of Us? Okay. Jump in this? Reconstruct. Use the mouse to select a route. Rewind. Okay, this is too unstable. Sure, that's fine. Oh, wall run? Just as we planned it. Dark, thank you so much for the follow. Gotta watch, you gotta watch for the negative space. Totally agree. Totally agree. Do I want to drop? Or maybe I wanna see. Ugh. I don't like when dropping into a pit is your only option. That doesn't that doesn't feel great, you know? You learn a thing or two on your own. What's up food just gets boring after a while? So true. This mechanic seems familiar. It does. From uh Return of the Jedi. We have really prepared ourselves for Detroit. I had no idea, but... Sparkle City. I've seen the last one. That was a toughie. Okay, now I gotta get into a warehouse. Reconstruct. No, <laughs> pit isn't a pit, it's a ladder. Yeah, uh, to a pit. Okay. So let's let's play this out. What options do we got? We run. Okay, no. Yes. How about this one? Boom. 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 Not solid enough. Totally agree. Run it back. Run it back. Okay, that one's not great. How about this way? There. No, too 
unstable. Run it back a little bit. Okay, let's look at... Maybe I shouldn't be up here at all. Oh, what if I run? I'm trying to run on the side, but it's not letting me pick it. Okay, maybe I can't go up there at all. Oh, I feel like... I feel like it is this way, but then you get up. Yes, thank you. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. How about this one? <laughs> Too high. Okay. Run it back, and let's try this one. Compute. Execute. Oh, bam. Pull yourself up. Boom, onto the ladder. Up and up, and bam. the next graffiti is. It's a room with like yellow and pink walls. Yeah, like this. Oh my god. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that is not good. Okay, we need this graffiti wall. I'm not seeing any. Whoa. Okay. All right. That's a little tricky. I really love Detroit. Are you liking it so far? Oh, I've been absolutely loving it so far. It just like has ripped my heart into a billion pieces for my own doing because I'm trying to be good and it doesn't translate. It's very tough being misunderstood. Okay, so there's a rock and some wood and like yellow in the background. but like the other side of this. It's like this, but backwards. Remove. S, S, S. Hold on, hold, 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 hold.
This angle. I don't think I want to go up on the rooftop, right? I think it was like behind me. It's like this stone and the wood, but going back into the room I was just in. How did the hostage chapter <laughs> downhill pretty fast? Yeah, okay, so it started off really well. We had this situation totally under control. And then I was confused or concerned about one of the questions so that I didn't pick it and I picked something else. Situation got very tense and uh, yeah. Jericho. that that would just sort of happen to me. Yeah, you know, who, who really wanted to easily get on the boat? Find another way to the boat. Right. I wanted to find the boat, but like I didn't want to reach it too easy, you know? Okay, we're not being like super silent or anything right now. Oh no. No, 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 no. amazing shot so I'm not super mad that I had to uh, had to watch it or be able to see it or anything but please don't break please don't break please don't break Make it this far and jump. That's it. Find a way to see. How about a flashlight? Why do I have to walk around a scary boat with a flashlight? Why?
about this? Do you need to go here? Okay, next, how about the next door? How about the next door? Oh my god! Oh my god! No! 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 No. Uh, no. This is... What is that? What is that? Oh god. We could have used that heartbeat monitor for this game. I didn't think I was gonna need it. I thought it was, I thought it was like a choice-based game, and then you end up with, with an, with an ending, and it was just sort of like people love it. I don't know. Heart Mantis, thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, I don't want that. <laughs> It is a choice-based game. You chose to be scared. How did my actions lead me to this scary boat? What did I do to deserve this? Is, is it because too many people died? I made too many wrong choices, so now I have to be on the scary boat? <laughs> you started playing the game and it needs an ending. Oh my gosh. a bit Resident Evil. You know, all of these things started happening after CD made their way here. Hmm? Hmm? The CD community, you did this? Huh? I was I was gonna have the the friendly, cutesy cutesy game. <laughs> uh where everybody you're just you're just trying to become human and then the CD community was just like nah we're gonna make it Resident Evil in here mm-hmm <laughs> yeah thanks Raiders 
Why aren't we looking up? Look up, look up. Missed a couple of side. Oof, missed three. Read on the run. And so many things I missed, and I thought I was so good. Meet the people of Jericho. Oof. <laughs> oh, heck no. Bunch of people. They're all just living on this boat together and they're all runaways from various different places like We gotta figure out a way to fix this. Okay. Hey, listen, I got a shit Question. Uh, I am very hungry, and I was wondering if this is a good stopping place. What's Heckblade? I I don't know what that is, but it's it seems like uh that would not be my my kind of game. I'm not sure though. Probably because I just assumed the worst that you guys just picked the scariest games. <laughs> Maybe try. It's never a good stopping place. I know it's never it's never the ideal stopping place. Thank you, Faceless. I I need some. Yeah, fairly lengthy seat ahead. Okay. I've like I I know that my body is just starting to like seize up on itself because I had to use the bathroom like a while ago and then I didn't need to use the bathroom and now it's just sort of like plus I'm hungry so uh I feel like this is a good stopping place it's it's auto saving along the way right so if I were to choose main menu it's gonna remember like this it says chicken on the pause stream. It's true, it's true. You don't need food, just stuff yourself with cookies. Man, if only I could. If only I could. But then you know what they do? They take your blood and they're like, Wow, ma'am, it appears that you only eat sweets and carbohydrates. I feel like you gotta, you gotta take better care of yourself. <laughs> it's, it's, no. You should, in moderation, Silver, that is it. That's it. It say, it auto saves finishing the chapter. Gotcha. Okay. It's actually a really good game. It has some scary parts because you play a character who is psychosis, but it's a pretty short and very well made. Well, Hostile Hank, that's not good. Um, no, but I'm going to make it all better next, next stream. Next stream, I'm going to fix it all up. And 
we're going to mend this friendship and we will become the partnership that we need to be to solve all of these issues by Hank Cookies and Whiskey. I think that's probably where it all comes back to. Like at the time, I thought I was doing the right thing by being like, listen, don't show up to the crime scene drunk and then pouring out his whiskey. I think if, if I just bought him a drink, that would insta. That's what happens with me. If like you buy me a drink of whiskey, insta, like we're good. Don't forget everybody. Oh yeah, how are we doing on the uh, baking stream goal? 88% with eight days left. That's not bad, that's not bad. We're cutting it close. Cutting it close here. <laughs> nope, just the whiskey. Don't take whiskey from strangers. Okay. Okay. Whis whiskey or whiskey, noted. That's, yeah, take, take that as a note everybody that's for your safety okay uh i'm gonna main menu so just as a uh oh just as a gauge on how everything is progressing here how far like percentage wise into the game do you think i am am i like a third of the way or like half okay yeah uh, i was i was getting kind of third 30 vibes you know when do you plan to stream again i stream again on tuesday at 8 30 p.m est ish which i know is not a great time for <laughs> it depends oh no somewhere between 33 <laughs> Well, luckily, a couple made their way back alive, alive so uh, that helps. That was a good thing. Good thing. But yeah, not even half. Plenty of game left to go. Plenty of time to, to show the game that we're good people and we made some mistakes in the past, but we will write them in the future. Yes. <laughs> well that's i started getting nervous because i was like wait you play as three androids and two of them are now dead so okay true true so we're 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 okay we're doing okay i'll take it um yes sorry 8 30 p.m est ish which i know is not a great time slot for for everybody but then those streams end up being a little bit shorter so by the time i get through like tuesday and thursday streams like the saturday stream is probably going to be the ending if i'm like trying to gauge this correctly but yeah No, oh my gosh. Okay, well, I'm gonna try to not get that achievement. Um, I'm really trying to make the right decisions and get nobody hurt, but... CyberLife, the company that manufactured me, is conducting a user survey. Would you like to participate? Oh. Uh, n not at this time. No problem. Maybe another time. Yeah, maybe another time, for sure. Uh, maybe another time. Is... Okay, good. Looking forward to next stream. You play all the games I love. Hey, these are all... Honestly, all of these games are the ones that you guys have said are, like, your favorites of all time. And, like... Basically, if you don't play it, you're like you're just not a gamer, and I take that personally. So I'm I'm trying to play all the favorites, all the best titles. Um, yes, I would like to return to desktop. Thank you. Yeah, I'll try to figure out what the audio issue is. It's really weird because. Like, I'm seeing it correctly on my stream, but then between my screen and OBS, um, you guys are seeing a, a lag in between. 
which is not great. I don't want you guys to have that. Mike, how's it going? Uh, you could click on settings cog. Oh, hold on. Fear desktop audio. What's it in advanced properties? Hmm. Did you update the new OBS? I did. I did. I did it yesterday, and I'm wondering if that's part of it. Um, when you guys see it, does it look like the lips are ahead or behind? From the sound. Silver Leaf, thank you so much for the follow. The lips are behind from the audio. Okay, wait, you've got Christmas lights up? Oh yeah, yeah. And they went off because the stream has gone over six hours and they're on a six hour timer. So 50, gotcha. The lips are behind. What would do that? I don't know. Okay, well that's weird. Wait, if I do this like mid, Does it let you? Does it let you? Hmm. It's not Matt, but it's enough. Like, I, I want you guys to come here and feel like you're having a good experience. You're having a good time. And I, I can't have desynced audio. No. The Christmas lights were off the whole time. I think they... No, I think they were on at the beginning of the stream. This is really weird, but like, look at the coloration of my hair and my face when those lights aren't on. Ooh. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. I hope you say more androids next time. Me, me too. <laughs> me, me too. Uh, I would like to do that more often, you know, save lives rather than getting people injured so <laughs> it's oops okay uh i have tissue mountain in front of me so this was neat i never seen any of the quantic dream pc ports before the keyboard and mouse prompts kept messing with my head wait so you guys i didn't realize that it was on uh playstation because i i probably well, I don't know. Hard to tell. I just prefer gaming on PC, so that's like my go-to, but probably would have been fine on PlayStation as well. Okay. Um, Who's on? Who's on? You guys, you guys want to go spend time with your dad? Oh my gosh, I totally forgot Debbie was in here earlier. I don't remember what was happening. Was I crying when she got here? But <laughs> this game is definitely not ecological. So many trees had to die for tissues. What tissue mountain? This game could be called Trees Become Tissues. Yeah, okay, somebody got shot. I do cry a lot, so through the tears, I thought that I saw Debbie's name in here, but yeah. It's okay, I hope your dad is cool. He's... Yeah, he's cool. He's super cool guy, your dad. Yeah, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. You guys are gonna love it there. Um, okay. What was I gonna say? I was gonna say my next stream is going to be on Tuesday, 8.30 p.m. EST-ish. Um, so I will be continuing Detroit Become Human then. 
Thursday is the same time slot. If you're like, oh my gosh, that's way too late for me. Um, I guarantee you because I'm the slowest game player ever that I'll probably be finishing Detroit on Saturday if I had to like mm, guess from where I got to here, but yeah. <laughs> Tissue Mountain should be your bot's name. True. Yeah, you can catch me on ESPN. That would be something. I'm trying with the Steam news when I'm like reading in game. I want somebody to like hear it and be like, whoa, she should be a newscaster or a sportscaster or like host Steam news on Steam. Like I could see it. Uh, challenge set. But Saturday, the challenge will be already completed. Yeah, we have 12% remaining for uh, the baking stream. Oh, Saturday's the charity stream. <gasps> I totally forgot. Okay. I mean, me, it's still okay. So no, nah, I, I won't, I won't give it away yet. I've got a couple of things that are in the works. Okay, well, Saturday is still gonna be an awesome day to be here because we are doing a charity stream for Games for Love. And uh, I've I've got a couple things up my sleeves that I think you guys might enjoy for the charity stream. So if I don't play Detroit at the charity stream, then I'll probably finish it on Sunday. So easy. 11% left uh, before I get this raid going. I wanted to say thank you guys so, so much. We officially passed 3,200 followers in today's stream and uh, that definitely would not have been possible without all of the follows that came in from Danger and CD's raids. So thank you guys very, very much. Um, for you guys that chill in the Detroit Become Human category that maybe saw the stream you dropped by and followed, I really appreciate you guys too. Even if you didn't follow, you being here um, is just really great. I thoroughly enjoyed the game so far, even with my little, with a couple of misunderstandings, but we're, we're gonna, it's brand new us come Tuesday. There will be no more misunderstandings, no more death and destruction and bad. So yeah, there's a, uh, there's all that. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna go collect myself emotionally and use the bathroom cause hopefully like I get that feeling back. Um, but thank you guys so much. We had so many subs and, and gifted subs and resubs today. And I just, I appreciate that. And I appreciate you guys a lot. Um, I ha hope you have an awesome rest of your weekend and Monday. And I will see you on Tuesday. I am going to raid Quirkatize. Um, he is racing, uh, I racing, and his title is racing. Command wheel, command sim lab, command sneak. So, uh, yeah. Oh, also, if you guys either watched my <laughs> Last of Us Part One playthrough, or maybe you didn't, um, I just posted a best, best and worst of my reactions and content from Last of Us Part One on YouTube. So if based on what you saw here today, you were just curious how that went, it's something. Uh, Not So Julie is my editor and she did a fantastic job per usual with putting that together and I just appreciate her. <laughs> that YouTube video is great fun. So close, close. But yeah, uh, so yeah, want to say thank you guys. I think that's it. Yeah, let's go. Let's go hang out with Quirk for a little bit and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye. Hey, Ray.
A ray raid? Ray raid? Ray, thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. Welcome, everybody. How's the race going? It's going all right.